Okay, hello. Uh, hopefully we are live. Uh, yeah, I don't want to begin this on a downer, but I have noticed that a lot of people are commenting on this in the chat, and yes, I have heard too about uh, Akira Toriyama's sad passing. The main thing that I know him from is Chrono Trigger. I still think Chrono Trigger is one of the greatest games ever made, and everybody should play it. It's not actually that long for a JRPG. Uh, like, pretty, pretty short. Um, but like, yeah, I, w I never really, um, got into Dragon Ball, ever. Um, I almost did, but then it was just the, um, uh, like, I, the one episode that came on TV was the Spirit Bomb episode, so, uh, yeah. But anyway, greetings everyone, and, um, yeah, sorry to, um, get all depressing, but, uh, yeah, I, it had to be said, uh, Again, like Chrono Trigger. Chrono Trigger is just amazing. I, I forget if he was just the art, the art director of that, or, um, or if there was, uh, if he had with more involvement with that. Uh, yes, we have started Fuka's social link. Uh, we've got to rank two with Fuka at this point. Uh, and yeah, um, I like my Persona Q playthrough. I actually quite enjoy Persona 2, uh, Q, uh, well, I mean, I would enjoy Persona, um, 2 if I played it, probably, but, like, yeah. Um, uh, Persona Q, very good game, personally. It's one of my favorite 3DS games, actually. Like, like, really? It might actually be my favorite 3DS game. Um, yeah, Dragon Ball, Dragon Quest, Chrono Trigger, Dr. Slump, yeah. Uh, didn't Dr. Slump have cameos in Dragon Quest? I, I think he, not Dragon Quest, um, uh, I, Dragon Ball, I mean. Okay, uh... Wait, oh, do we have a next date already? Oh, okay. <laughs> you got rejected. Yeah, Phantom Mages are a thing. Yeah, Persona Q is, uh... Is, uh... It has a bit of a difficulty spike, let's just say. Massive difficulty spike, um... In the third dungeon. Very yeah, nice. those guys are indeed the worst. Yeah, Dragon Ball Z, probably where it, where it hits, probably Dragon Ball Z, probably in Japan and in Australia. Um, like, I, I, I've I gone onto this before, but, like, I think my parents would have thought that it was too violent for me back when I was a kid, so I never really got into Dragon Ball. Um, I did actually, um, like, I, I did... Oh, no, Gary Stewart hasn't failed, um, by the way. He's, it's just deferred to a later date. Elizabeth still totally has the hots for him. Um, but, uh, yeah. Uh, what was I saying? So, yeah, um... Oh, Platinum for Persona 3 Reload PS3 version. Congratulations on that, Mia. You want some protein? Oh, no. Speaking of Persona Q, don't bring out protein around Akihiko. Otherwise, he'll be replaced by his evil clone from an alternate universe. Who only likes protein and has no other personality. Yeah, yeah I agree. I actually do. I haven't even played Dragon Quest XI, but Dragon Quest XI seems really good. It's specially formulated for people like you who suck at bodybuilding. <laughs> um, but, uh, yeah. Dragon Quest XI, um, yeah, pretty, like, it's, it's like, it's the classic case of, like, cliches aren't always bad. Like, it is a pretty standard good versus evil, heroes versus dark lord fantasy story, but it has a surprising amount of nuance within that. Like, the, the thing that I'll always say about Dragon Quest XI, um, oh, if Persona 3 Akihiko met Persona Q Akihiko, he'd probably punch him. Um, but, um... Let's hear the results. Um, but, uh, the thing I'll always say about Dragon Quest XI, um, is that it manages to get a really heart-wrenching, tragic story out of a village where everyone speaks in haiku. They do not drop the haiku speech even during the tragic moments, and it still works somehow. Is that true? And then there's mermaids who always speak in rhyme and with a very specific meter to it as well. Um, of, like, a, it's a fourteener, like, a type of poem, they always speak in it, and they have a really tragic story, and they don't drop the rhyming for that, and it still works. Oh, someone's mother is on a cruise to Australia. Well, hey, that's cool. Australia's a nice place. Spiked bat! Elizabeth, uh, are we gonna question why you had that? Did you take it from one of the delinquents that we met in that alley? Well, I mean, it's it's time for Junpei to have both bats and knives at the same time. 
Oh, that's worse accuracy. I mean, I'll try it. Release your inner bad boy. Uh, but like, the, the worst accuracy came back to bite me big time with, um, Yukari's weapon. Sounds like hell to localize. Yeah, yeah, the thing is, from what I've heard, like, the localizations, they do go pretty all out with Dragon Quest. They usually give regional accents to all of the areas. I don't know who localizes Dragon Quest, but it feels very British localization style. Like, giving specific regional dialects to different places. Oh boy, this one. Oh. 12 different drinks. I can probably do that. Okay, beef bowl. Not one Jack Frost doll, but three of them. Hard to see. Is that even available anymore? Because it's Ganesha's now, I think. Or Ganesha piggy banks. Yeah, uh, another aspect, another case where Dragon Quest does that, Dragon Quest Eight. there's a really tragic moment um, where um, uh, where involving a character with an incredibly thick Russian accent, and it still manages to come across as completely heartfelt and genuine. Oh, Blue Dragon! Ah! Oh. See, it's kind of funny. I almost wish I played Blue Dragon. Um, the, the problem with Blue Dragon is it's an Xbox exclusive, so I never, I never had an Xbox as a, as a kid when I was younger. But, like, Blue Dragon feels just, like, it looks like a genuinely decent RPG. And it's also, um, like, also Eternity, the boss theme, is, like, the epitome of so cheesy it's amazing. I think I've seen it summed up as, if I was asked what the worst JRPG boss theme of all time is, I would say Eternity. If I was asked what the best JRPG boss theme of all time is, I would also say Eternity. Oh no, the Lorenz Force! It's not the same spelling, but, um... It's gonna mean that he's gonna show off his true nobility. Oh, I think I remember the left hand rule. I remember that, like, um, there's an. I'm pretty sure left hand rule is an exam answer in the original game. Oh boy, exams are gonna be back. I guess we'll actually have to remember to study this time. Oh yeah, Dragon Quest Builders is, is pretty good in terms of story as well, from what I've seen of it. Like, I thought it was just a, like, Minecraft clone. And yes, indeed, Blue Dragon does have a DS version. What's even better, uh, even though it's instrumental, the DS version still has Eternity in it. So uh, you, Shadow Palkia, you haven't missed much. Just, uh, just handing in a side quest to Elizabeth. Hang on, I was answering chat. Uh, stream of air bubbles from a whirlpool bath hits you, your body vibrates, okay? What's it called when the air bubbles in a whirlpool bath hit you and make your body vibrate? The flutter effect, the bubble jack phenomenon. Ah, uh, I wanna say anchor? Yeah, Blue Dragon did have an anime. Are you trying? Ah, oh, damn it. I thought Flutter sounded too silly. Yeah, I'm 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 very adverse to taking one of these baths now because I've heard things that I probably shouldn't talk about on stream. Uh, let's just say somebody died in one of those baths in a really horrific way. We have failed Junpei. It's just a point of charm, I think, so it's probably okay. Although, actually, Yukari's coming up, I think, are socially gonna need max charm for that. Uh, oh, oh, Kenji's available. Interesting. Well, about that. Uh, that's the wrong button. Yeah, I guess Flutter, Flutter does, does make sense. It's one of those things where I'm like, ah, oh, it's just too silly sounding and too obvious. Of course, it's, it's gonna, um... It's gonna be something else, right? But no, I, I overthink things like that a lot. Are we rewinding so we don't fail Junpei again? Maybe? Let's see how far we can rewind back. Classroom. Uh, I hope I had turned in the protein quest here, though. Uh, I think I'm gonna stay with this for now. Oh yeah, Vaporeon is the bubble jet Pokemon. Ah uh, yes, there's so many Chrono Trigger themes would be amazing. <laughs> yeah, so okay, I have a reason that I wanna that I wanna see Kenji at some point on this stream. 
Uh, I have a reason why I want to see Kenji. You'll see. Yep, sometimes the easy answer is the right answer. Uh, oh, somebody, um, not Gino Platinumed Infinite Wealth. That sounds cool. Uh, in terms of matching personas, where have I got, um... Oh, yeah, I would need, I need to get protein again. Yeah, I don't really want to bother with that again. Uh, do I... Uh, I do still have Magician. Okay, good, so... It's not a rank up, though, and that kind of sucks. And I might be able to hang out with him on a Sunday, potentially. But later on, I'm going to need my Sundays from, for, um, Sun. So, yeah. Uh... Yeah, I wouldn't have turned it in. Vaporeon, the bubble jet Pokemon, not learning bubble. Well, I mean, it kind of fits. I mean, Lickitung couldn't learn Lick in Gen 1. How are you doing? Uh, I guess we can rank up the Keisuke. <laughs> oh, right, that's the other Keisuke I was thinking of. Devil Survivor Keisuke, who's definitely not like this Keisuke. I feel like Devil Survivor Keisuke is an alright character in concept, but like, his arc goes from zero to infinity very quickly, and then after you save his life optionally, um, he suffers from Fire Emblem character syndrome and just, um, uh, basically vanishes from the plot relevance. You have a ton of free Sundays later on, yeah that makes sense. I think Sun is an automatic level up from what I remember. Everyone, attention please. Pinsir doesn't learn any bug type moves in Gen 1. Well, there weren't a lot of bug moves in Gen 1, to be fair. I have an announcement regarding the recent Bay Area art contest. Bay Area? Isn't that like in San Francisco or something? Hiraga Kun's painting was selected for consideration in the final round. Growlithe could learn Growl, wow. Huh? Yeah, the answer is real. I'll talk about that maybe next Tartarus. Your piece was really good. You might even win. Please, it's all thanks to my paintbrush. I was lucky to use my dad's quality raccoon hair one. Now oh, that just reminds me of like there was a point where like Games Workshop sold like sable fur paintbrushes that cost like sixty dollars for one paintbrush or something. It really helped apply the paint to the canvas. So I'm sure that's the only reason the judges even noticed. This is the weirdest way to be modest. <laughs> now, I don't know if he'd prefer me saying this or... Ah, it's just hard to tell. I guess I'll try being nicer. Even though it might be not what he wants. Thank you. Oh, it was really what he wanted. Okay, good. My instinct was fine that time. For about two years now. So I never imagined my piece would go so far. You should have more confidence in yourself. Yes, I know my Rex tangent is overdue. Um, but I also want to explain why I've got- I've had Sonic Brain Rot lately. That's something that I need to go into as well. But yeah, the Rex tangent definitely overdue. She's right. Everyone knows how late you stay. Thanks, guys. But I should be supporting all of you. Not the other way around. I'm sorry. I should be setting a better example for new members like you. I may not be much of an artist or a leader. But I hope we can keep working to improve our skills together. Oh, hey, that's cool if Trails from Zero was on sale. Uh, in fact, if Trails from Zero was on sale, definitely get it, people. It's really, really good. And surprisingly standalone by Trails standards. Like, it's actually pretty, yeah, oh, well, apart from it, it, the whole Ren stuff, yeah. You kind of need to play Sky to get that. I've come this far. I might as well continue this for as long as I can. Uh, if you just joined in, all I've really done is this, and an Elizabeth quest, and... Yeah, not much else. Oh, look at the time. Time to head home, everyone. Oh yeah, he is Griffin Burns. Who I think voices a whole bunch of significant characters in Trails and the Reverie games. How do I convince him? Oh yeah, he does kind of look like Derek Styles, and other- and also other reasons. Yeah, I need to play the murder of Sonic the Hedgehog. I have been spoiled on, like, the ending, so the mystery isn't really going to be that surprising to me, but I've heard it's really good. <sighs> and now it's time for Trauma Center starring Keisuke. Uh, I, I feel kind of weak. 
Your breathing is impaired, and your lips are pale. Did you get enough sleep last night? And what do you usually have for lunch? Uh, now that I think about it, I, I didn't eat breakfast today. This used to be me sometimes at school. Don't do this. Mm-hmm. I see. Yeah, I, I still love the fact that somehow a Sonic the Hedgehog visual novel mystery managed to be genuinely good. Just as I thought. Looks like anemia. Probably from an unbalanced diet. It must be all the fast food. Uh, we wouldn't we wouldn't know anything about that. No, we didn't just eat nothing but burgers for a month. I recommend adding more shellfish to your diet like oyster and abalone. They're packed with iron and easy to cook. Well, this is just my amateur diagnosis, but you should still see a professional. I'm not a real doctor after all. I'll take him to the nurse's office. You guys should head on home. Yeah, Calamity is the theme of, I think, one of the shadows in Arena Ultimax. At least it doesn't get copyright hammered um, every single time, like Desire from Persona 5 does. For some reason, every time Desire in Persona 5 uh, plays, the, my videos always get copyright hit. I don't know, it, why that song? Like, that's just the generic ominous thing. Oh, it's you. Welcome yeah, back. skipping lunches during school, probably not a great idea. Yeah, we're gonna go to Tartarus soon because I need to rescue somebody. We need to make sure that a person doesn't die. Unbothered. That's a term I don't hear often. No, I regret nothing. Everything I do in life turns out perfectly. Yeah, I don't like the fact that they got rid of the options as well. Okay. Well, that's depressing. And not just because they mentioned Wedding Planners, one of the worst movies I've ever seen. Okay, there's a limited meal set. Uh, actually, so what do I got here? Lessons in Etiquette, Charm. I will need to get Charm up. I think I'm still at four on Charm. Yeah, I'm still at four on Charm. Hmm... Definitely need more of that. Oh, hey, if you need to eat breakfast, go ahead and do that. Yeah, I'm surprised they put Portable's rescue requests in this remake, but yeah, they, they're kind of combining a lot of all of them. I mean, except oh, people are annoyed at no FMC, but I mean, eh, I'm not too bothered by that. Oh, I guess we can play High School of Youth. I don't know, I don't know whether this or the, or the software gives more charm, though. Meanwhile, yeah, she still looks really smug. Okay, still only it's smooth. Only it's smooth. Unless there's plot, I think I'll try and go to Tartarus on Sunday. It's not going to be a long Tartarus session, but I need to do it anyway. Good morning, this is Elizabeth. I am calling to inform you that more humans have wandered into Tartarus. Oh, okay, well that's uh, actually good timing, because it means that I can take care of them all at once. Two this time, I believe. Please swiftly and safely conduct a search and rescue. Yeah, that one other who got in there before, uh, th th hopefully they're fine. Hopefully they're as strong as Fuka. Goodbye now. Yeah, that's the thing. Like, it just, it just, like, it would take a lot to add Femsi. Like, she completely changes the game. Uh, yeah, um, Louis RPG. Sonic Chronicles is a game that I wish was better, because, like, it's it's got so many cool concepts to it, and I, I've, I talked about this before, though. <clears throat> the music is awful, though, and, like, the graphics are also pretty bad. So, oh, Fuka is rank-uppable. And I gotta go to the shrine, though, because I know that Ken gets a cameo here, like, early in the game. I don't want to miss Ken's cameo. Okay. Well, yeah, more C's foreshadowing, but yeah, there's apparently a cameo of Ken. Um, so eventually, well, not apparently. I, 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 in the original, I do know that Ken eventually shows up in the shrine, but that might be a little later. 
Oh yes, that part of the song which is supposed to be Baby Stay With Me, but I used to keep hearing it as the taste of red mead. Good day. Okay, who are the Tartarus people? Hand over the drinks, do I have enough? I shall be waiting then. I have six. I need six more. I should probably check those vending machines. Here are my requests. I don't know where it tracks the missing people in Tartarus. Well. Yeah, the hilarious overpowered characters in- so, so, so like, like I said before, but like, I, I sometimes I like it in RPGs when the healer is the most broken character, like Peach in Super Mario RPG. Um, like, Peach in Mario RPG is hilariously broken, but um, uh, like, Cream in Sonic Chronicles is hilarious, like, like, if you give her the action command succeeding, um, the, or the, the chow that makes it so that action commands always succeed. Yeah, yeah, you, um, Shattercoin is right. You basically had infinite PP. Um, and also, like, because, and, and I think it, her being the buffer slash healer makes a lot of sense. Uh, and, like, Tails is the other healer. Um, but he uses, like, medic bots to do it. Uh, but, like, yeah, and, and Omega is pretty amazing in, in Chronicles as well. He does a ton of damage. And I and I still love how um, how Tails and Eggman have a combo attack that um, instantly kills robots by dismantling them. A healer who doubles the tank? Uh, off the top of my head, Mamori in, um, in um, Tokyo Mirage Sessions gets healing. Um, I forget if it's, like, via some of her, like, side quests, but I know that Mamori gets healing. She has a healing super move as well. Um, and quite a few of... No, no, they don't really. I'm just trying to think of, like, whether the tanks in, um, Xenoblade Chronicles get healing. But I do like the idea of a tank getting healing. Um, but, but yeah, I, I do know that Mamori in, uh, Tokyo Mirage Sessions does get healing. A decent amount of healing. Mamori is, like, this, like... She's like one of the rare cases of armor knights and RPGs being actually good. So anything that I have definitely limited, anything that I have zero of, I should probably buy because I likely haven't haven't given that to Elizabeth yet. Oh yeah, paladins and D and D kind of are like that as well, maybe. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, lazy shell peach as well, tank healer. Yeah, that was part of why Peach is so broken in Mario RPG, because, like, she's the healer who never, ever dies. Oh, yeah, and in Dragon Quest, uh, not Dragon Quest, Yakuza Like a Dragon Quest, um, in Yakuza Like a Dragon, Ichiban is also a hybrid healer slash attacker. Tank slash tank, kind of. Yeah, no, I like how, like, I never really realized Ryuji sympathized with, with, with Sophia, but it kind of makes a... Uh, it says my thing disconnected and is reconnecting. Uh, reconnection successful. Uh, no, we, it didn't look like it died on my end. Um, it didn't look like it, it, it died. Yeah, we're, we're back, yeah. It, it, it said it dis- like, I got a pop-up on my computer saying it disconnected, but it's back. It's just a little hiccup, okay. Yeah. Yeah, Omega had some good lines in Chronicles. I, I still think my, um, uh, what was it? Uh, also Big. Big was great in Chronicles as well. Um, I also love how Chronicles established. I think in Sonic Chronicles, there's an alien like hive mind boss that tries to read Big's mind and gets a bunch of static, and I think that's perfect. Like, I, I think the only people that uh, that are immune to the mind reading are Sonic because of determination, Cream because she's a child, and Omega because he's a robot, and then Big because he's Big. His thoughts are just are just froggy over and over and over again. Well, going to Wild Duck Burger is not going to teach you how, just saying. Well, I've been trying a lot since then, but I can never seem to get the taste right. I still don't have a feel for how much salt to add. How do you do it? Um, I don't add salt. I create salt in others. Uh, guess just a dash or two. Oh, that makes a lot of sense, actually. 
no, that's not what we meant. No, why did you read my mind and get the sonic brain rot? I've just been pouring it in slowly. I'll try and remember that. Yeah, I, I do agree Fuka is the biggest display of how voice acting can improve a character. Although, honestly, I do think, um, so... Uh, what's his name? Daichi in Devil Survivor 2. I think I've said this before. Um, I've said this before. Uh, Daichi in Devil Survivor 2 is, um... People did not like him without voice acting. And then, um, and then in voice acting, he's voiced by, uh, Ben Diskin. And Ben Diskin actually made Daisuke, genu Daisuke genuinely endearing and also genuinely funny. And suddenly he's a really good character. To tell you the truth, I was actually hoping I could make something you'd really like. But I don't think I'll be able to do that for a while. Yeah, not killing cats is the good first step here. <laughs> Maybe cooking just isn't for me. Yeah, I've recently discovered, thanks to, uh, stuff chat about, you know, um, unseasoned chicken, that I'm, I'm still, I'm, I'm not really the best at cooking. Oh, sorry. I know you're just trying to help me, and all I'm doing is being negative. <laughs> I mean, like, all of these are kind of good, actually. Thank you. That really means a lot to me. Never had someone be so supportive of me like this before. Yeah, improving Daichi helped a lot because Daichi essentially has the true ending as well. He's like the neutral rep character. I actually have quite a lot of trouble staying optimistic about things. Oh boy, we relate to that very well, Fuka. But like real life me, I'm not good at being optimistic about things. In my head, I always imagine something going horribly wrong. Oh my god, this hits so hard. I have this too. It's kind of similar to what OCD is, actually. That's why sometimes I feel like giving up when I'm cooking. But you know, when I'm around you or the rest of the team, I never think like that. You've all given me so much confidence in myself. So, I'm really thankful to be a member of Seas. That's why I want to show you all my gratitude. Yeah, I'm liking her social link so far. Uh, like, yeah, I forgot really most of it in the original game, apart from the very end. Maybe I should watch one of those cooking shows on TV. I mean, yeah, people think Anguish One has true ending energy. Um, like, like the anguish. The problem with the Anguish One route is that you don't. Sa well, it's impossible to save everyone. Um, but like, the problem with his route is that both Ronaldo and Yamato die. Um, whereas you get to recruit them on Daichi's route, which I like. I just love the fact that in an SMT game, instead of killing the lore and chaos reps, you actually recruit them. Actually, it might be a little too advanced for me. But it is, it, 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 it really says something that the, tr the actual canon ending is a merger of the Anguish One and Daichi's endings. The library might have some books for beginners, though. Hey, I hear that Sonic the Hedgehog has an official cookbook that's actually really good. I've seen preview pages of it, and it looks genuinely good, which is hilarious. Mm, but in that case, I can't really read while cooking. I wouldn't want to get the pages dirty. Oh, you don't mind? Uh, Jared Fayette, definitely play Devil Survivor if you can. Like, they're really good games. looking for books that means we'd need to go to the bookstore which is right behind you it's not a big deal or anything but i don't really like going to bookstores i was traumatized oh by books as a child it, it so late. i have to go um the hair dryer burned out so i was planning on fixing it uh oh yeah people are confused at the sonic by the way like the Sonic the Hedgehog cookbook, um, its recipes are done by a woman who did the Halo cookbook, which apparently is also decent, and the writing in the cookbook is Ian Flynn. So yeah, Ian Flynn wrote a Sonic cookbook, and it was gold. But I was hoping to get it done before yukari and the others got back. Like, that guy is like, I mean, yeah, like how? How does he do it? Sorry, do you mind if we up the pace on the way back? 
The only thing I know about the Sonic Encyclopedia is that apparently um, it doesn't contain Sonic Free Riders because Ian Flynn forgot that game existed, and most people don't blame him. Yeah, the thing that I like about, um, I, that I like about Afuka is that, like, her cooking, I've said this before, but it's treated realistically. She's genuinely trying to improve, and it's not like she's comically over-the-top bad. <laughs> Book 8, my grandma. I, I wish that wasn't a real thing from the Trolls movie, but it kind of is. Um, but yeah, like, she does, like, feel like she's genuinely trying to improve, and she's not, like, comically world-destroying levels of bad cook. <laughs> uh Yes, be true to your heart. So um Um yeah, um um even people here are saying they forgot Sonic Free Riders. I um uh yeah, I I only recently saw some clips of Free Riders and uh I'm just gonna treat it as non-canon because Amy in that game is probably the worst she's ever been, and that's really saying something. Oh no, Ikutsuki is going to unleash the ultimate power of evil puns. I mean, yeah, Rise's cooking is technically not terrible, it's just, it's just spicy. Oh yeah, and, and of course, Free Riders had the connect thing. Oh, I mean, yeah, Free Riders, from what I've heard of its music, it's pretty good, but yeah. Anyway, so what we got here, limited meal set today, I sort of do want to get some more, although it's almost exam, so I probably do need more academics. Oh yeah, um, speaking of Amy sounding like Minnie Mouse in Free Riders, um, uh, yeah, I'm not looking forward to hearing her in the remaster of, of, uh, of, uh, gener of uh, Generations, because I saw a video of that recently, and I was like, oh god, I forgot how bad her voice sounded here. Uh, I kind of want to try this. Should you arrive 10 minutes early to important meetings? No, you should arrive 10 minutes early to all meetings. <laughs> Better, you should arrive 10 hours early to all meetings. Oh yeah, Valkyria Chronicles does have tanky healers. The manners I learned might make me more attractive and respected, not that I needed to seduce people. Uh, nope, okay. Uh, no, uh, wait, maybe Omega was missing from Team Dark in that game? I do remember that, I think it was Team Sonic Racing swap cream for generic Chow in Team Rose, which is weird. You should time travel back to when the meeting was decided to be early for the meeting. Hey, hey. Excuse me? Well, that's dark that that was your first thought. I think you missed the point of Romeo and Juliet. It's a tragedy. You're not meant to like the protagonists are meant to be flawed. No. Yeah. Yeah, I, I have thoughts on Romeo and Juliet. Like, they, I feel like there are two common opinions on, um, on, um, Romeo and Juliet, and they're both wrong. One of them is that it's a perfect, completely perfect love story, and the other is that it is a completely, like, the main characters are idiots, they were never in love, they were just stupid teenagers. I think both opinions are wrong. Um, I think it's a combination of both. They were genuinely in love, but they were also stupid. Um... Like, or a nice way to put that. Like, I don't know, as far as Shakespeare plays go, Romeo and Juliet is is actually kind of up there. It's not like my absolute favourite. I think my favourite is Othello, only when it's done well, though. Um, but like, it's, 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 I think it's, Romeo and Juliet is decent for what it is. Uh, Platonic Roots are definitely in this game, from what I've heard. <laughs> Alpha Rad didn't unrehearse Romeo and Juliet with his friends, that sounds really good. <gasps> Hello. But, uh... 
Yeah, yeah, so there's a lot of argument over whether the tragic flaw was their impulsiveness or whether it was the feuding families, and uh, it's kind of a, a mix of things. And at the end, at least, like, it's a bittersweet ending like most tragedies, that their deaths lead to the families being like, okay, we've been feuding for way too long, we should stop this right now before more people die. That's why I like that the Baz Luhrmann, like, modern version had the Capuas and Montagues be crime families, because it kind of makes sense. Yeah, most characters in Shakespearean tragedies are stupid. That's kind of the point. I wanted to buy something to use as a secret ingredient in my cooking. Yeah, I agree that Othello slaps and that Iago's a good villain. The problem is that I've only seen Iago played well once in my life, but that was at a at the actual Globe in London, and it was by Mark Rylance, who um uh you might know him. A, the, off the top of my head that he was in Ready Player One, but that's probably not one of his better roles. But, like, yeah. The way that they played Iago in that was just so terrifying, because they kind of played him as that, like, concerned friend who's like, I've just got your best interest at heart, man! And while he's actually just manipulating everyone. Ugh. But I couldn't really decide, and I wasn't sure how to use whatever I'd buy. Uh, opinion on the answer is DLC, uh, it's, it's fine, like, I'm, it basically was DLC originally, it looks pretty much the exact same as the original from the trailer, so I don't know when I'll be getting it, if at all. Yeah, I, I'm sorry, but I did get to go to the actual Globe in London. Yeah, I know that the URLs in the club give you good things later, but I also know that, that, like, they take up time now. way too ahead of myself. Okay, I do feel like we've spent a, a few too many ranks on just cooking, though. First thing I need to do is find something that I can actually make. I'm still having a lot of trouble getting things right. But I can't give up yet. Not after all your support. And it's not like I have any other redeeming qualities. Oh, somehow I remember that line. Some other thing that they're really good at too. Except for me. Um, no, Fuku, you're amazing, and you're good at technology. Nobody else in C's is good at technology. I guess I'm sort of good with machines, but that's it, really. Oh, um, I just meant that I like them. It's not really something to be proud of. When I was little, I remember my dad's hobby was to work on complicated sound equipment. Oh, okay. He fixed things like broken amplifiers or headphones that only played sound <laughs> on one side. I'm so sorry, but headphones that only played sound on one side. I'm terribly sorry to everyone who's watched me for a long time. Some of my old videos were like that. I used to have the audio only coming through one side of the channel, and I don't know why. I've always loved watching him work on those things. Probably why I was drawn to working with machines in the first place. But I don't think that would be very useful to repay everyone's kindness. Plus, if we do ever have any technical needs, like when we're fighting, then we've always got the Kirito group support. Yes, we've always got the Kirito group support. They're totally not evil or anything. Not to mention that I'm kind of embarrassed about it all. I mean, it's not a very feminine hobby. Uh Yeah, so this is the thing where culturally I'm not really sure what the best option is here. I guess I'll just go. This is what I personally say. Later. Thank you. I sure seem to talk about my problems a lot, huh? <laughs> How come nobody asks her to fix the command room? Because it's funnier that way. I don't know, it's almost as if he's the protagonist or anything who goes around solving everyone's personal problems. I feel like you stop me from being so negative all the time. Actually, I might owe a lot to you in that sense. <laughs> when the when is the benefactor like the benefactor of like the main party ever good? I'm just trying to think about that.
sorry. I didn't mean to talk so much. Let's go home. Yes, protagonists always are granted with Celestial Riz. That's why I named this guy Gary Stewart in my first playthrough. Oh, welcome back. Okay, so it's Saturday. Hopefully, uh, Taurus is available on Sunday. And yeah, I'm kind of saving the nighttime hangouts with C's for when I have all my stats maxed. Why is the news always depressing? Oh wait, no, that's just par for the course, for life. Yeah, I no longer watch the news anymore. <sighs> By the way. Yes, reality would implode if Fuka tried to fix the command room. I'll try not to assume what they were doing together just before the dark hour. Yep, that that's probably good to, to, to imagine, yeah. Hmm, the next shadow is going after couples, huh? Hmm. I wonder if Gary Stu is in danger. Yep, I guess we'll need to keep our chin up, keep a stiff upper lip, as they say. Um, no, don't, don't, know. it was another person in the chat who said, um, uh, who said, um, Pratacnus are always gifted with Celestial Riz. That, that, don't quote, that's not me. Yeah, I kind of like the idea of not dating anyone at all in this game. I haven't really done that in a Persona game, but, like, uh, okay, what's available on a Saturday? No new messages, that doesn't bode well. Oh wow, somebody watching the news when they were five, yeah. Uh, let's just say that like my parents successfully kept me away from the news during a certain thing that happened in 2001. And we have... Oh, academics, I guess we'll take that. Yep, this full moon includes that scene. Um, you may have noticed the thumbnail of this stream. Still above average. <laughs> Looks like Junpei would be safe even if he wasn't a Persona user. <laughs> nice burn there. It's like, hey, it's going after couples. Well, then you're totally safe. Uh, oh, Fuka, okay. But she might be ready to rank up, so I don't know. Yeah, I only saw news footage of that thing way later, like into my high school life. <laughs> I love how his priority is the home shopping channel, always. And now... Oh, okay! Seeds, nice. Buff potato sprouts. Uh, that's not a lot of yen, and I'm going to be going to Tartarus today, so let's go ahead and do that. Well, tonight. I have always liked that the dungeon is at Thanks, night in Persona kid. 3. Like, I, I I like that, and I kind of wish it stayed that way. So, okay. Let's see. Mail, we have... Dear Gary Stuchan, new message from Maya. Healthy brain food. Who's available? Unkichi and Mitsuko, Nozomi, and... Oh, hey, Maya can rank up. I guess we can rank up Maya. Oh, I still haven't done the thing with Kenji. I'll... There's something with Kenji that I really want to try and do this stream if I can. <laughs> every time someone tries to... This is this is somebody in the chat. Everyone, every time someone tries to fix the, the command room, Ikutsuki distracts them with terrible puns. Yeah, that would make sense. On the next episode of Phoenix Ranger, Feather Man R, episode 19, believe in yourself, there's nothing you can't do, Feather Swan! On today's news. Yep, depressing news right after a kid's show. Gotta traumatize them somehow. I mean, last week they got traumatized by Condor dying, so now they have this. Yeah. Yeah, there's there's actually, like, ex there's unused dialogue um, in... Uh, in um, Persona 4, where Teddy says they can't go to the TV world at night because the shadows are stronger at night, which would kind of explain Persona 3, but that line got cut. I mean, admittedly, a lot of lines got cut from the opening of Persona uh, 4 because, yeah. I have Hermit, right? Yes, I do have Hermit. I have, I have chicken. 
Oh, that's cool if you got headphones. I think they actually did make official Persona 3 protagonist headphones uh, at one point. <laughs> but I'm so buff. <laughs> Yes, because exercise m gives you endorphins, endorphins make you happy, and happy people don't shoot their husbands. Actual Legally Blonde dialogue. Legally Blonde is a movie that I do feel still holds up. Uh, kind of. I guess there might be a few, like, gay stereotypes in there, but, like, other than that, it, it's fine. Let me guess, you put Mr. Okoda's photo on the punching bag. Yeah, I, I can't believe they cut raw on my ass. Like, that was just such a good line. It was just three words. They easily could have kept that. Yes, the SOB. Uh, unfortunately, he's not fired at this point. Sadly, he's immune to being fired because otherwise that would break Maya's social link. Uh, of course, as a classic lit teacher. Yeah, those are the kind of teachers who make people hate literature. <laughs> gay or European is like the... The only thing I've seen of gay or European is a version of it to Fire Emblem Fates. <laughs> Pooned. Wow, it's been so long since I saw Pooned. Like, like, Pooned was like my era lingo. Like, I actually heard people using this unironic- well, mostly ironically, um, but all the time. Like, yeah. Yeah, sadly, Mr. Okoda can't get fired because, yeah. Uh, because- because Maya's social link relies on him still being a teacher, so they'd have to write two versions of it if he got fired, which kind of sucks. Oh, is it rank six already? Not bad. <laughs> Doesn't have a computer in his house. <laughs> yeah, I remember this line. Probably uses an abacus. <laughs> Rafflecopter, there we go. Um, have we already seen La Mayonnaise? <sighs> yeah, the main thing I remember about, like, noobs is, like, there was a show that, like, just had, um... There's a show that, like, um... Uh oh, oh, there was a hiccup there, but that's fine. Um, there was a show that, like, oh, like online that, like, had tech support people being like, uh, yep, I'm still here, just thinking about how much of a noob you are. Uh, nobody's here in the lounge. That doesn't bode well. I hope we're available for Tartarus tonight. Okay, no, everyone's just upstairs. Oh, brah! Really? Really? Ah, uh, well, I guess we're doing something else tonight. Yeah, that's annoying. It, it, I, it's there's no real warning when the senpai aren't around. Uh, but okay, I'm pretty sure there's nothing good at Apollonia Mall on Sundays. I kind of want to see if there is any new computer software to buy. Although I'm, I've got you know. Yeah. Yes, I know about the Rufflecopter swap thing. That was pretty cool. Yep, rip. Rip, uh, going to Tartarus. It's okay, we'll try and go to Tartarus on Monday. Yeah, there's burgers. I've already maxed courage. I don't need burgers anymore. Okay, there is a, uh, a vending machine here, though. Virtual diet? I guess that would be charm. Language made easy. I suppose that'd be knowledge, maybe? Uh, I'm guessing those are stat boosts for Personas. <laughs> yeah, maybe a coder got replaced by a slightly less bad clone. We can only hope. Bow bar. Yeah, here we go. Keeps you going for 24 hours straight. This, I think this is a reference to the show 24. I never watched that though, so I wouldn't know. Uh, I'm, I'm pretty sure the people in Tartarus don't die until the next full moon, from what people have told me. <laughs> hey, I promise I'll save you tomorrow. We go to tomorrow and they're all dead. 
isn't there that like the premise of a Deadpool short, or, or at least Deadpool just took so long changing to a costume that somebody's already dead? It's weird how Deadpool is like one of the only like cases of like super black comedy that I'm okay with. Oh, I love Color Your Night so much. Especially this part. Nope, no academics up yet. The muscle one gives you HP, that makes sense. Yeah. I'll just say that's the kind of backseating that I'm okay with, but just don't backseat about anything else. Um, no, I think it was a short in between Deadpool 1 Morning. and 2. And in two weeks there'll be exams. Yeah. Yeah, I still love the bit in Deadpool where where he's he's like interrogating someone. He's like, "Don't make me ask twice," and then it cuts to him crossing their name off the list. He made me ask twice. Ah, uh, yes, the the Mitsuru suspicion arc. Oh yeah, the tease of a Deadpool too. Yeah, that makes sense. I'm still I've fallen out of the MCU, but hopefully um, Deadpool and Wolverine is good. I saw the trailer. It looks all it looks all right. I personally thought the Marvel Jesus line was a bit forced, but other than that, it looked fine. Natural magic, huh? Yeah, like like to me, Deadpool is not that gory. I've heard that Logan is way worse. I don't really want to watch Logan, but like Deadpool is it's gory at times, but, like, it's it's fine by my standards, and I don't like gore, I'll just say. Who hasn't fallen out of MCU? Yeah, sadly. I need to see Guardians 3. Apparently, Guardians 3 is genuinely good, and one of the only good things to come out of MCU right now. Calendar-based spells, huh? Uh, Shem Tank, my headcanon is that Mr. Edogawa Ed Ed is actually Philemon in disguise. Uh, like, you say that, Mia, about the ratings, but, like, parents let kids play Grand Theft Auto all the time. Oh, detect, uh, sources of water. Yeah, that's, like, dowsing rods, right? I'm pretty sure those are pseudoscience, but yeah. Oh, yeah, there is, like, a non- there's a censored version of Deadpool 2 that's, like, all played for comedy. Yeah. No, Spider-Verse is good, but that's not MCU. I haven't seen Across the Spider-Verse yet. Yeah, I kind of agree of MCU dying with Iron Man. I don't really want to get into it, but, like, uh, I do think that, like, Endgame was great. Endgame was a great end to the first part of the saga. I liked Far From Home, but Mysterio is, like, my favorite MCU villain and one of my favorite villains of all time, so, yeah. Um, and then after that, it just went a little bit, like, yeah. I saw Shang-Chi, and that was okay. Yeah, I, I wish they brought Edogawa back as well. Okay, then. You have been called upon. Oh, he doesn't say, Gary Stu, I summon thee. Uh, use divine water sources? Yeah, I just said that. It's I believe it's dowsing. That's why the item finder is called dowsing machine in some games. Yeah, Ultimate Shadow, that's exactly right. Why I like Mysterio... You, Ultimate Shadow, in the chat just summed up why Mysterio is my favourite villain. He weaponizes gaslighting, and I think that's terrifying. Like... He makes, he makes you question what is real. It, it's amazing. It's just like everything, everything that like happens, you don't even know if it's real or if it's an illusion or if you're just thinking it's an illusion. You can't trust anyone and it's just like, and even defeating uh, Mysterio himself is not the end of it because he has an entire special effects team behind him. Oh yeah, I've heard good things about Loki, the Loki show too, but I've been spoiled on Loki, so yeah. It would have been funny if that, um, that gave me, uh, a charm of love. Uh, I've only seen Overly Sarcastic Productions, um, <laughs> um, analysis of the Doctor Strange sequel, and it's hilarious. It's, 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 yeah, it's, they, they, they did things. It, uh, oh, hey, Michael. Although she's probably available during exams and stuff. So, okay then. Trust no one, not even yourself, yeah. We have a new burger? Our 
fries are extra salty. Oh no. <laughs> Unknown ingredients. Ah, uh, it's probably still just courage. Yeah, I do think the MCU Spider-Man trilogy is is good. I did feel like the third one was a little bit too pandery at times, like to nostalgia, but I do think it was pretty good. Okay, um, we're spending a heck of a lot of time with Fuka lately. Not that that's a bad thing. Have we got her all the way up to rank 5 now? I like those windmills there in the background. Although it almost looks like there's an airport there, but that's just part of the school. And this time, it isn't just for a taste test. I think you'll actually be able to eat it. Wait, uh, maybe I said the same thing last time. Well, now I mean it. Oh, um, yeah, I have not seen Sausage Party, and I don't think I want to. <laughs> the new burger is false advertising, it's just a recycled Courage burger. I can believe that a real fast food chain would do that. Okay, rice balls wrapped in seaweed. At least they don't look like jelly-filled donuts. Well, it was actually good! Her arc is, is maybe it? complete? Yeah, that's the problem, Sherm Tank. That's why I intentionally failed my... Yes, I intentionally failed my first exam. That's totally what happened. Why I failed my first exam um, is because, like, you don't need max academics until very late, so I prefer to prioritize courage and charm. Thank you. You know how I said I was having trouble with cooking? Well, I decided to try and find a recipe that even I couldn't mess up. Rice, salt, and seaweed. Nothing else. I mean, yeah. I, you know what? I want to try making my own tuna onigiri someday. There used to be a place near my old work that sold amazing tuna onigiri, and it just disappeared. I used to go there for lunch all the time, and they were pretty cheap too. They're only like two bucks for a tuna onigiri. And yeah, they're gone now. And after a lot of consideration, I thought maybe making rice balls is something I could handle. But then I got really absorbed in how simple they are to make. Still so hard to master. That's me with chicken schnitzel burgers that I've been making myself lately. I made some rice balls today in home economics class too. I know it's a little silly to make something so basic in high school, but it was all I could manage. Please don't save yourself. Is making rice balls really that hard? But then everyone in the class told me they were really good though. Anyways. I've been really looking forward to have you try one. I wanted you to see how much progress I've made. Because I don't think I could have made it this far without you. Okay, now don't get too dependent on him, because that was my problem with the Yoshizawa confidant. Thanks. I know I've said this before, but when I'm with you and the rest of the team, I'm able to see things more positively. And I think the most important thing is the feeling of wanting to make others happy. That might be the reason why I made such good rice balls. Because I was thinking about who was going to eat them. I'm the one that should be thanking you. Um, I just wanted to say thank you so much. Really. Might turn out a little lumpy on your first couple of times. That just reminds me of I actually did try and do the trendy thing and make bread during the pandemic, and it didn't go that well. I tried making like flatbread so with yogurt, it and it There's turned out really, really dry and bland. The first thing to note is while you're washing the rice. We're going to cut away because our writers uh, don't know how to write actual recipes. Um, don't take that the wrong way. No, it, it's fine. I, I'm not trying to insult the writers or anything. Yeah, we got all the way. We're all the way to rank five. Hey, sorry to bother you, Fuka. It's okay. What's on your mind? Well, 
Uh, I was hoping you could do me a favor. With your skill, I mean. I was doing some research on our school, and I came across something strange. In the library, in the restricted section? Ten years ago, a lot of students stopped coming to school for some reason. They were reported as absent at the time, but I found some records that suggest otherwise. Do you know anything about it, Puka? Me? Um, not really. I know it was a long time ago, but doesn't it seem suspicious to you? From what I've heard, this isn't the first time shadows have appeared. Wait, are you saying... Are you saying there were Persona games before Persona 3? I don't know, but I do wonder. And I'm not trying to make trouble or anything. But Kirijo Senpai acts kind of weird whenever someone brings up Tartarus. Does she? I just want to know what happened back then. And if it doesn't have anything to do with the shadows, then fine. I understand. Yes, there were victims of a gas leak. Um, the document probably says something like, Those students were in a terrible accident that wasn't intentional because it was an accident. Okay, I'll see what I can do. <laughs> Atlas is inverse valve starting at three and counting up. Oh, it's you. Okay, good, Mitsuru's back, which hopefully means we are allowed to go. I mean, I'd take a Persona 2 remaster. remaster. I do feel like if they had, if they did make a Persona 2 remaster, then it would probably, like, um... They'd have to revamp the gameplay a lot to really make it reliable. Reliable, what am I trying to say? Nothing interesting on TV. Oh, you, uh, someone adopted a dog during the pandemic. That's nice. Apparently a lot of people got pets. I luckily already had one. Um... My, my cat stayed out until after midnight a few nights ago, which was a little bit of a thing. Um, but okay. Oh, she says she's in the command room. Um, I hope we can still go to Tartarus then. But it's kind of cool that they tell you. Actually, what's, um, what's, are my rooftop things done? Yeah, Yoshizawa would, would probably be adopting, um, uh, Sophia. Definitely. Uh, I don't really know who the original voices were for the for the original Persona 2, but I think some of them, from what I remember, were pretty, like, not hugely amazing. Okay. Um... Oh, we weren't talking about anything suspicious at all. Um, don't tell Mitsuru that we're here, and let's go to Tartarus. Yes. So now, we are finally gonna rescue these people. I'm so sorry to keep you waiting, but finally. <laughs> Da -da -da -da, your part-time hero has finally arrived. We're only several weeks late. I mean, Midori's leaks have been reliable so far, but I just feel like if there ever are a, um, uh, if there ever were remasters or remakes, they'd probably be, they'd probably take a while. Missing persons. Cannot be, yes, it's full moon where they die. Receive a reward at the police station. Oh, it's the police station where you find the missing people, yeah. Ask Elizabeth where they're located. Okay, so good to know. Good to know. Uh, oh, yeah, several hours late because timey-wimey stuff. Um, oh, Keith Silver's name was Tatsuya. Him as a heroic character is kind of interesting conceptually. Uh, mm, I guess I can keep using this party. The level's going to be uneven because Junpei is like the only one who's behind. And I only and that's only the case because I use Mitsuru a lot because Bubble Tea. Um, Marvelous. Yes, yes, I know, but what I actually want is... Oh yeah, Pokemon ZA, like, nobody predicted that. Um, everyone predicted, um, um, Legends Univer instead. I wish that I, uh, did, le ha had Legends Univer, because, yeah. Okay, just two more drinks. Okay, we're close on that one. About missing persons. Between 48 and 53. There's apparently three of them, I think. So, let's go ahead and save. Oh yeah, he was Flynn, but Flynn was silent in the first game. So, after 48, I guess we can go to 47. 
Yeah, I do wonder about the seal on that. That's spoilers. I'll talk about that when we way way later. Floor 50. Okay, good. Fuka can pinpoint things. Uh, don't let um, Elizabeth know that you can scan better than she can, though, because she might take that personally. <laughs> they're in every whoa leaks video. Who oh, guys? Did you know that they're gonna be doing like a a a a, a, a HD 2D remake of of Universe because that would be the uh, not to insult HD 2D or anything. I just think that like I don't know why people want Universe remakes to be HD 2D. Great, but I also miss Kirijo Senpai navigating. It kind of felt like getting stepped on. Junpei, no! Junpei, no! Stop! <laughs> you thought it was Jodo or Unova remakes, but it was me, Carlos. Yeah, Zen is all. Keith Silver Zen is all for Zen. Uh, oh yeah, your electricity, right. Um, okay then, I'm just gonna shoot you. One step at a time. Yes, too much information, Junpei. <laughs> yeah, I really, honestly, I think Pokemon's fine in 3D. Like, I actually prefer that Junpei in the in the tuxedo with the bat is just such a weird combination. <laughs> yes, it is I, the Dapper Murderer, the Dapper Bat Killer. I smash your skulls in and look and look stylish and swag and drip while doing so. Yeah. Yeah, there's a lot of Pokemon fans allergic to 3D games, but like, yeah, something that I've like, like, some of the animations in Colosseum are good, but they're also really slow, and that is something that a lot of people have pointed out. Junpei the Ripper, yeah. Yeah, I like it's going down now. I do think it's a very good song. Uh, okay. Oh, that's a warp. Oh yeah, F Fuga said floor fifty. Hey, Fuga, did you sing us a song every once in a while? Like something to get us pumped up. Huh? Like right now? B but I only know the school anthem. <laughs> I'm guessing the school anthem is something like Mr. Coda is so great. And nothing happened ten years ago. Please stop asking us, or you'll go missing just like they did. Um, anyway. At least it's better than Shujin Academy School Song, which is about how everyone is a, is a slave and uh, they should obey their teachers and never question them. Uh, you yeah, know, I do think that someone, like, like, okay, XD improved the animations a lot from Colosseum. Um, and also, yeah, Aurora Beam is pretty cool in, in XD. Aurora Beam always tends to look good, though. I remember Aurora Beam looked amazing in Gold and Silver, which was kind of interesting because, like, it, that, that's, like, Aurora Beam isn't even a particularly good move, but, like, it looks really cool in Gold and Silver. Uh, I guess Reach Out to the Truth is one of my favorite Persona Battle themes. We are surprisingly not getting a lot of shuffle times. Uh, I think I need more money. I hope I'm good at experience. Okay, let's keep on exploring. Uh, Battle Battle Revolution has good animations too. I agree. I like Mass Destruction because it's weird. L like Mass Destruction is the weirdest RPG battle thing I've ever heard, and I love it for that. Yeah, the fire moves in XD are great. Uh, yeah. But, like, somehow I remember Aurora Beam in Gold and Silver just looked really good for such a, like, kind of weak move. Who knew you could buy weapons from the police station? But I guess that's a good thing for us. Well, at least be thankful the police here are better than they are in Persona 5. Oh, hey, there's other things here. And Precious Hand is weak to that, okay. Uh, I don't really even have an ice user, do I? I guess I have a freeze spray. Like, I didn't even, like, honestly, I didn't even really mind Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl's art style. I just didn't like the fact that it looks very bare bones and they didn't even, like, like, they, they basically kept 
uh, everything controversial about the original Diamond and Pearl, and it's hard, because I know a lot of people love Diamond and Pearl, because it was a lot of people's first Pokemon game, but, like, I never, like, I always hated Sinnoh, and I always, like, original Diamond and Pearl is still, like, my least favorite Pokemon games, and, uh, yeah, them being a faithful remake without much of Platinum, I was like, why? Why would you do that? Original Diamond and Pearl are just not good, in my opinion, and, and, but that's not a common opinion, I think. Oh hey, Stardust79, thank you for giving me giving me a dollar. I I I've set those up recently. I I do not I honestly I really do not expect anybody to actually like donate to me at all. But like, yeah, thank you so much. Like like really don't like like don't don't like don't you know I was about to say don't do it, but I mean you you get you get the idea. Uh, anyway, yeah, like, like, Platinum, it definitely fixed a lot. I still, to me, Platinum didn't fix quite enough to make me like Sinnoh, but it, it, it is, in my opinion, way better than Diamond and Pearl. Like, it did fix quite a bit of Diamond and Pearl. I need to stay here until we rescue the, the person. Oh, if you feel old for Ruby and Sapphire being your first Pokemon game's Emperor Sephiroth, my, um... Was that a plume? Wait, what? Did I just get a plume of dusk? Did I just get a plume of dusk? Or, no, maybe that was just for using fragments. I don't know. Um, but anyway, um, sorry. Um... Yeah, I do like that BDSP made people actually like, um, uh, Auras. Because I liked or I always liked Auras. I thought Auras was, like, but then again, yeah, but what I was saying was, was that, um, if you feel old for, I can't believe you don't even have an area effect fire skill. If you feel old for Ruby and Sapphire being your first Pokemon game, mine was red and blue, so yeah. I was six years old at the time. Yep, I start with red too, Darkness Guard. I can't believe I even got through. I got through Rock Tunnel without Flash. Somehow, it took me a month, a literal month, to get through Rock Tunnel without Flash. <laughs> I brute forced it because I didn't know where Flash was. Also, the amazing disappearing outfit. Good teamwork, everyone. Now on to the next. Hey, it's the stairs. Uh, hey, yeah, it's the stairs. Hey, there's someone on this floor who's going to die. So let's not go up the stairs. <laughs> Clingy the Elder. Uh... <laughs> I'm only like, like, 32. Look, someone's over there. There we go. And now someone else donated. Um, to, uh, Toledo Harness. Thank you. Um, I will also say that um, I, I um, I'll try and shout out people who donate when I can. I really don't want this. So one of the things that I don't like about a lot of streams, um, is that they just eventually just devolve into constantly shouting out people who donate and like never really having any meaningful discussions. Um... Okay, um... I guess we can take you back to the entrance. Is that gonna warp us back? Please don't doesn't... Okay, good. Doesn't take us out of Tartarus, that's good. Um, but, um, but like, um... Like, I, I don't want this to be like, you know, so-and-so just donated, so-and-so just donated, and that's just the entire commentary. Because that happens with a lot of streams. Um, not that I don't appreciate donations or anything, I do. And I will try and shout them out when I can. I just want to talk about other things too. Um, huh, the only Pokemon game someone who has played is the Tekken fighting game. Well, that's good taste. I've heard that it's actually quite good. So where's our next missing person? Yeah, well, modern Pokemon is so easy. Uh, literally... In red and blue, use an X accuracy, and one KO moves always hit. Between 55 and 59. Okay, good. Missing person number two, let's get in there. Um. Uh, I guess I can go back to there, yep. Um, but, uh, anyway, yeah, I'm sorry, I'm not really good at, I, I'm, I'm just new to streaming, I don't really know how to set up alerts or things like that, um, I mean, that would be kind of cool to do, in fact, you know, I've got, I've got friends who could help me with that, like, Bubble Tea and Lady Virgilia do streaming and they do alerts, so I could, um, I could get them to help me, 
Um, but yeah. Yeah, I guess Pokemon does need more spin-offs. I, I'm, I like the fact that, um, uh, what's it called? Um, Pokemon Snap came back. Um, oh, StarCraft 79, apparently. My name is Stardust. No, it's, it's, yeah, StarCraft 79. Uh, hi there, yes, thank you for that. Um, but what I was saying was, um, uh, yeah, Scarlet and Violet did up the difficulty quite a bit, which is cool. Um, and especially, like, like I do think, I, I said this in the last stream, but, like, some of the Team Star bosses are legitimately Shin Megami Tensei levels of ridiculous. Like, the, the like, Eri, like, the fighting leader in particular, is just like, oh, hey, yeah, we're gonna make a Shin Megami Tensei boss in a Pokemon game. And I love it. Uh, oh, only my weak personas have fire. Oh, I guess I have a level 12 persona with fire. Wait, no, I, you know, I need fire. Wait, what's this thing about Pikachu being a Mish- Oh, yeah! Wait, I'm sorry, I thought you meant Yuki Mishima. No, Hihachi Mishima. There we go, the Mishima family. Yeah. Um, yeah. Um, like, I remember- Also, isn't Garchomp based on, like, Brian Fury or something? In, the, in those games? Like, yeah, they basically made Pikachu a Mishima, which is kind of funny. Electric Wind God Fist. Yeah, that's it. Let's do the same thing for our next fight. And it's apparently, um, a thing in Smash Bros. as well. The easiest of the bosses in Indigo Disc pulls out a speed boost Blaziken. Yeah, Indigo Disc was kind of like a, uh, just like what they did in, um, Sonic Final Horizon. It's just like, oh hey, you want more difficulty? You think the game is too easy? Well, be careful what you wish for. Kingdom Hearts also did that with Remind. Um, if we could build our endurance, we wouldn't lose as much stamina while we're on the move. Well, that was true of the original game. I'm pretty sure you got tired slower the further Shadow you went Man. into Tartarus in the original game. Um, but yeah. Um, yeah, um, oh, Eri threw the fight for you, okay. Keep your eyes oh yeah, Scizor is based on Jack, Machamp is on the King, Charizard has Devil Jin, yeah. Uh, it, it, is it still at, v, at VGC Championships? Because, like, it was cool that they Even put that in VGC. Like, those fights were always pretty cool. And, like, it was actually, like... Oh, Octo Expansion also, yeah, for difficulty in a DLC. But, like, um... Um... But, yeah, what was I saying? Oh, oh yeah, they, um... I, like, 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 Pokémon sounds surprisingly balanced, too. Like, surprisingly balanced. I am sort of glad they didn't do Indigo Disc difficulty. Oh, hey, you're at a con right now, Lunar Amethyst. That's cool. Um... I wish I could be at cons. I don't really know if there's anyone really that I am interested in meeting who's coming to a con. 56, okay, let's just keep moving then. Let's keep moving! Um. Oh yeah, Ultra Necrozma is still pretty insane. Although it can be wrecked by Zoroark, but um. Favorite Theurgy so far? I mean, Yukari's is good, Mitsuru's is pretty good. I don't think I've even seen Akihiko's yet. Junbei's is pretty cool, too. Oh, you got Persona 5 Strikers for $10. That's oh, a that's a good deal. And it's a really good game. So definitely, yeah, that I appreciate that. Most fighting games are pretty balanced nowadays. Ah, uh, I guess so. Maybe. I think the last time I went to a con was like in 2019. And I met Cherime Lei there. And I talked to her about, um, uh, about, um, uh, about Fire Emblem, and she must have been very, uh, very, uh, holding it in that she voiced Rhea. This was just before Three Houses came out, so <laughs> she was probably thinking to herself, Oh, Fire Emblem, yeah, I did interesting things in that recently. Uh, yeah. Wait, there's a Sonic Symphony this month? Uh, I love... I have been to Pokemon Symphonic Evolutions. I've been to um, the Final Fantasy concert as well. Like, when those exist, they're great. Like, I, I love those, but I don't know if Sonic Symphony's ever come to Australia.
Yeah, she's Cedar. Uh, that's that's what I mostly came for. I got to sign my Persona 5 art book, though, from the portal, which is great. So now I have the signatures of... Uh, I have Laura Bailey, I have Johnny Young Bosch, and I have Cherami Cherami Lee. But no Matthew Mercer yet. I've got Travis Willingham as well. But not for Persona. Um. Met Maryland at Pokemon Symphony, some Asian. I met him in Australia, which is kind of amazing. He came there for the 2017 uh, uh, Oceania sure. Championship. Why don't we go to karaoke sometime? It'd be a fun way to relieve stress. Yes, we can sing oh, yeah. reincarnation. Don't let my beautiful singing voice shock you. We need Junpei singing. Junpei singing is something that we really need. Okay, let's get you to safety. Oh, I mean, Ginny C, even having a picture with Matt is amazing. Good day. I believe there's one more. I can sense a 61 and 68. Okay, let's go. Very well. Uh, Junpei's VA in this game is um, Zeno Robinson, who I mostly know as, as um, uh, oh yeah, Ruji and Morgana Singh. Um, who I mostly know as, um, uh, Fogato. Uh -huh. Oh, meeting Yuri Lowenthal. I believe... Have I... Did I meet Yuri Lowenthal? I know I met Tara Platt and Naruto's voice actress. I'm sorry if I forget her name. Is my ass showing? Can someone take a look, please? <laughs> uh, I'll help you check when you get back. So please just try to deal with it for now. And now all the shadows die at the sight of Junpei's exposed... Yes, you know. All right, squad, move it. Okay, someone... The person who met Matt Mercer met him before Critical Role took off. That would make sense. Yeah. Uh-oh. Uh, I think you guys are fine. Uh, I, I I promise to give my um oh dang it lost a homunculus to somebody not the main character again um I sort of oh yes fear yes fear me fear me phantom masters you will cower before me but um. Like, okay, so people are talking about, like, conventions now, and, um, that kind of thing. Uh. Someone asked, what is GOAT? And, um, I believe it's greatest of all time. Only new Matt Mercer is the guy who replaced Troy Baker as Kanji. Yeah, they sound pretty much identical for the most part, except Troy Baker's version of Shadow Kanji is a lot better. Ah, uh, I guess you can scout. Uh, but okay then. Uh, anyway, um, so, right, um, I, I do feel kind of, kind of bad about this because, um, um, because I know everyone in the chat is talking about different things, but I really feel like, and I wanted to do this in this Tartarus session, just because, like, there's, there's not really a whole lot going on here except rescuing people, um, and, so, okay, I, I feel like I need to explain why I have been referencing Sonic so much lately, and why I have had Sonic brain rot for the past, like, two months, I was I, I I legitimately had not really even thought much about Sonic since Generations, uh, because like every game after Generations was kind of meh, from what I remember. Like, wasn't really that great, and I just wasn't really, like Generations was good, and then I so, so I okay so 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 okay also the right you know what you know what I promised the Rex so I'm sorry about this okay sorry to jump around I promised the Rex tangent. Um, the Rex Tangent a long time ago and I didn't deliver. Um, so I'm gonna go with the Rex Tangent first. 
So I am I am, so okay, I'm just gonna change my topic here. I'm gonna change my topic here and go Rex Chad Tangent because I I have promised that. Um so okay. Rex Chad Tangent. It's not really that complicated. Um basically the thing that I like about Rex is that he see don't kill me please. Okay. Um is that he's like people think that he's naive and that he's like just a just just a, a, a dumb kid shown in hero. But like then it turns out that um Rex is actually a lot more savvy about the world than you would think. Like he's lived on his own for ages. He's lived completely on his own. Um and and he basically had his own job. Um, as like a 15 year old, um, like he's just had grants for company. He's been doing work for like everyone. Uh, not ever, like for like all the major nations. And he, like, I think at the start he already ha doesn't want to deal with anything like war related when it comes to like who he sells to. And like he actually is a lot more savvy about the way that the world works um, than you might think. Um, and it's either, even the whole I love you and all you guys thing. Like, he wasn't as oblivious as you might have thought with that. And it's like, the thing I like with Rex is, and it kind of ties into how Xenoblade Chronicles 2 was a game that came to me at the perfect time. Um, like, in Xenoblade 2, I, I, I played that at a point where I had the exact same mentality as Torna and Amalthus. I am not kidding. I had the same mentality as Torner and Amalthus when I played that game. Like, it was 2017, politics had just exploded, discourse was everywhere, North Korea looked like, looked poised to nuke everyone. Like, I spent every waking moment terrified, um, terrified that, that I would wake up to the sound of nuclear missiles hitting where I lived. Like, like that year. Um, I was, like, actually legitimately, like, like, terrified. Like, I thought the world was going to end in 2017. And sadly, I'm kind of back to being that way now. Um, but that's, no, let's go back to, um, to, to, um, uh, to Xenoblade 2. The thing that I love about Xenoblade 2 is, th is that, it, that theme of optimism but the optimism doesn't come across to me as naive, because like I said, Rex is actually not that naive. Um, and, um, and Rex, um... So, the thing I like about Rex is... Uh-oh. Uh-oh, that could be bad. That could be really bad. Uh, that's probably not too terrible. Uh, but like, so... Rex is not somebody who is, who is optimistic because he's naive and doesn't know any better. Rex is somebody who does know better, and he knows so much better that he realizes that 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 if you're a pessimist, it won't get anything done. Yeah, the world sucks. There's a lot of uh, corruption, awful stuff in the world. But uh, again, if to use Persona Five, if you hold on, life won't change. Like being a pessimist is not going to change anything. Like really you need to think that things can be better and to actively work towards things being better. And that's what Rex realizes. And that's what separates him from... Um, that's what separates him from the villains of that game. And, and the fact that the villains of that game are villains specifically because they have given up on everything and because they've, they've just gone into complete nihilism, that really hit me, and it actually shook me out of the mentality that I was in that year. Like, it, it was exactly what I, what I needed to hear at that time. And that's why I appreciate Rex so much. Uh, oh, wait, wait, nope, oops, oops, there's still a person here, let's not abandon them, that would be dumb. Um, but yeah, and I think it's really just the English voice acting that, that made people iffy on Rex, and I didn't even think it was that bad. Like, it's, it, his screaming is like, eh, uh, at times, but like, there was kind of a charm to it, and like, Admittedly, I grew up with Sonic voice acting, so it was kind of, like, not even that bad to me. Like, I've heard way worse voice acting than Xenoblade 2. I've heard way worse, like, like, I have heard Chaos Wars. Chaos Wars. If you have not heard Chaos Wars voice acting, look it up. Your ears will die. Like, Xenoblade 2's, like, it's just, and, and just so much of Xenoblade 2 just got, you know, 
got backlash from all of the... Like, I think it was because, like, Xenoblade 1 attracted a lot of people who were, um... Who were against JRPGs at the time, and they were like, oh, this is everything that JRPGs aren't. Like, yeah. Um, so... You know, they sort of took Xenoblade 1 as the anti-JRPG, and therefore they just thought, yeah, let's just, like... Like, oh, Xenoblade 2 has become all weeb and anime, and therefore it's awful and, like, sucks. And, uh... Yeah, like, that that was just... Anyway, yeah. I think Rector's voice acting gets gets better. Yeah, I believe Chaos Wars' okay, voice acting was entirely done by the one family. The most painful part is when there was a, um... Uh, like... It sounds like they got an actual four-year-old to voice, like, a child character who had no acting experience. And it's just painful to hear. It's it's even worse than Sonic Heroes Tales. Uh, double beastie, huh? I'm still setting up. It'll take a little more time. Okay, I haven't even tried analyzing them yet. Yeah, I do feel like it was sort of like Persona 5. Like that 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 people just um. Anyway, it's hard to explain, but like, yeah, and, and obviously those same people put other anime-style RPGs on a pedestal, um, because it's just, yeah. I, although, at the same time, I fully admit, Dahlia's design is terrible, a lot of the, a lot of the Rare Blades legitimately have terrible designs, I, I'm not gonna deny that. Um, but I think for every Rare Blade that has a terrible design, there's a lot of Xenoblade 2 that's amazing. You know, you know what, one day I actually just thought about something? Um, oh, hi, Bubble Tea, by the way. Um, yeah, mostly it's like the anti-RPG, yeah, um, negative people hating on Xenoblade 2, yeah. People, people acted like Xenoblade 2 was a hentai game, and it's really not. I do agree that, like, I, I, I think that, um, Pyra and Mithra, um, Pyra and Mithra, um, their designs are better in Smash. I'm so glad they added... Mithra's smash design into Xenoblade 2, um, and made it like, um, you know, I guess I can hit Denza, um, and made it like an actual equipable item that gave her a massive crit rate, um, massive melee Mithra it was called, uh, cause like, yeah, it's just, um, yeah, it's, 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 there are elements of it, but I, I kind of learned to ignore them just because the rest of the game is so good. Yeah, I don't even want to try to defend Dahlia's design. Uh, I'm not going to even try. But yeah, it is actually quite true. You dodged it! Junpei didn't. Uh, but like, uh, anyway. Um, someone was saying Xenoblade 2 didn't really hold back on the fan service. It's just, it's weird how little the fan service in Xenoblade 2 bothers me. Yet, like, in, 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 in Fire Emblem Fates, fan service bothers me. Like, Camilla in Fates legitimately bothers me, but, like, nothing in Xenoblade 2 bothers me at all. It's just, like, the rest of the story in Xenoblade 2 is so peak to me, and the gameplay is so peak to me. Like, I never... People say that, like, oh, you know, you, you, the combat system is so slow in Xenoblade 2, and it's just so hard to, like, get used to. I grasp Xenoblade 2's combat nearly instantly. Like, nearly instantly. And I don't see how other people had a problem with its combat system. Admittedly, I got very lucky and got and got uh, Zenobia as my second rare blade. So that was that was a little bit insane. Zenobia is not a hard blade to make work well. She does more damage to bosses and unique monsters, and that's about it. Um, but yeah, it's it's weird how little like I can't really describe exactly how like Xenoblade's fan service doesn't bother me, but it just doesn't. Uh, it's 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 weird. Yeah, someone's saying fan service will always bother me unless there's something else to it. That that makes sense. Like like yeah, and and it, yeah, it, it doesn't help that Camilla is meant to be your adoptive sister. It's just uh, like Camilla, I can say okay, okay. So, so here's the thing, and this is something uh, something that's probably gonna get a lot of people mad at me for saying this, but like, okay. So I don't think really like I feel like Camilla's entire character is clearly just fan service. Meanwhile, Pyro and Mithra, yes, they have fan service designs, but 
they are also ridiculously deep characters with amazing personality, great story moments, and um, and also great gameplay. I mean, Camilla has great gameplay, but she's a little too good. Mithra's a little too good too, but, you know, beside the point. Um, yeah, that's the thing. Most of the fan service characters... In fact, that's actually a good way to put it. So, most of the fan service characters in Xenoblade 2, this is from Dragon Knight, they don't act that way in personality. That is probably the reason why. Like, the fact that Camilla both looks and acts seductive might be the problem. Whereas in Xenoblade, um... Well, you Ari really wants to scout ahead. Um, whereas in Xenoblade, um... Yeah... It's just, it's, 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 I don't know, it's, it's just a little, a little weird like that. I, otherwise my old injuries start to ache. Oh wow, that's surprisingly wow, dark. Wow, you sounded pretty cool just now. Like someone in a manga. And Junpei kills the mood, as always. Uh, but yeah, I personally enjoy Xenoblade 2's combat the most of the trilogy, too. One step at a time. Uh, I'm gonna try Sonic Punch you. Xenoblade 3's combat is good. But at the same time, it's also like, um... It, it's also like, uh, what is it? Um, like, Xenoblade 3 has the problem of combining attack-based recharge, like Xenoblade 2. Um, and, um... Like, like, and time-based recharge, and I do think time-based recharge is incredibly, um, incredibly, um, uh, worse. Like, I, I think time-based recharge is legitimately a terrible idea and should be gone from the series. Um, uh, like, like auto-attack-based arts recharge with cancelling, so much better of a system than, than time-based recharge. And that's one of the few things about Xenoblade 3's combat that I don't really like. Yeah, Kavesi art just felt worse. That's that's basically like my yeah, my whole opinion too. Uh nope, that's not actually charged. Uh, I also have a problem with the fact that like tanks still suck, but that's not I was worried about that. Well, good to know that you swung and missed there, but now I, I need to probably pay attention to this. But I can boofer you and then swap over to a different persona, I think. Is there any engaged person that's purely fan service? Um, not really, because, like, Ivy doesn't act that way. Let me get my, uh, better persona, I guess. Okay, you resist fire, that's fine. Uh, Xenoblade 3 is definitely worth playing. Like, for all my reservations about the battle system, it- that I just said, it's a good battle system. It's just not as good as 2, in my opinion, but it's a very good battle system. Uh, in my opinion, it's better than 1 as well. Um, and it's like, um, yeah, it's, um, of Zephyr, but she's a villain, she doesn't really count. Oh, Goldmary, yeah, Goldmary's a little bit pandering, in my opinion. Um. Yeah, I don't think I've actually seen, oh, that is really cool, I don't think I've seen that one before, that's really amazing. Nice dizzy there. Yeah, I don't like the fact that tanks kind of suck in, in, in Xenoblade 3, and they sucked in most of the Xenoblade games. I think the way aggro works in Xenoblade is fundamentally flawed as a whole. I think tanks should have some kind of passive bonus to all aggro generated. I mean, Chloe's a little bit fan y but her personality isn't very fan service. Yeah, like, people are saying Zephyr, but, like, again, I don't really count Zephyr because she's, like, that seductive villain archetype. Xenoblade 3's cast is good. Like, like, I, I, I'm just gonna say, like, like, I like Xenoblade 3 a lot. Like, my personal order, uh, my personal order of Xenoblade games is, um, 2, 3, 1. 1 is still amazing, though. I just think 2 and 3 are even better. Um, but my personal order is 2, 3, 1. Uh, but that's just me. 
I, I will honestly admit as well, I have a little bit of bias towards 2 as well for, let's just say, doing something at the end that is subversive for not being subversive. Hey there. Um, I mean, okay, um, Xenoblade 2 spoilers in a moment, um, but uh, I appreciate the fact that the architect didn't turn out to be evil. That it's a rare JRPG where, yeah, that happened. But anyway, that's all I'll say on that for now. So, yeah, that went places, but that was my Rex tangent. Um, and, like, see, here's the thing. Like, one of these days, I don't know if, like, people have... Like, I, I, I teased the idea of a Xenoblade 2 playthrough on the channel at one point, and people were a little bit apprehensive. But maybe one day I might try streaming it? It could be a decent stream game. So tell me what people think about that. People saying that the seductive villainous archetype is inherently fan service, but like the the thing is, it's it's weird. Like the, the, the thing is that like I guess it's just I'm not into villains, so <laughs> I it doesn't really bother me that much. Because, like, I have a lot to say about Xenoblade 2. A lot to say about that game. Like, I really, really love that game. I won't let this go to waste. Literally drops... Yeah, Xenoblade 2 is a lot... See, the thing is, I probably wouldn't do many side quests. I wouldn't do side quests except for, like, the really, really good, um... Um, the really, really good Blade side quests. But, yeah, the random Blades, I think, as well, is a big reason of why I want to do it. I have not played Xenogears or Xenosaga, unfortunately. Uh, like, I, I, I probably should, but I have not right now. But yeah, I, like, again, it might be more suited for streaming than for, um, uh, than for an actual playthrough. Yeah, I want to give my thoughts on Xenoblade 2 more in depth, because it is legitimately one of my favourite video games of all time. Um, I think it's one of the only, like, games... Oh, I don't actually have Nicholas Sheldon. Uh, but I don't think I need Star right now. Uh... Kind of like having all of these. I guess I can drop... Emperor at the moment? Yeah, potential for Cosmos as well. Um, but yeah, the, the, so so like, the, yeah. But the thing about about Xenoblade Two is um, that like, it, it is one of my legitimately. It's it's on my backlog. I have like my top five favorite games, which I believe as of now are Persona Three, Black and White Two, Advance Wars Two, um, Fire Emblem Radiant Dawn, and the last one is Xenoblade Chronicles Two. So, yeah. It's one of the few games uh, on that list that doesn't have any presence on this channel. So one day I might want to stream it. Yeah, like, some Asians, see, that's the thing. The base thing to do is make content you enjoy. The sad thing is that modern YouTube just doesn't really allow for that anymore. Like, the algorithm is so brutal right now, and if people, like, regular viewers don't immediately click on something, then then the video will just, like, YouTube will think it's bad, and it, it will just stop promoting the video to people and nobody will watch it so that's a lot of two slash six yeah it is a lot of sequels i i generally like video game sequels like i think that usually video game sequels are better than the originals because they um because they usually improve on the gameplay and uh yeah uh thank you for watching snowing steak wow you're saying oh hey you're long overdue for a velvet room session i was gonna go in there anyway Yeah, so I'm, I recently felt very vindicated when someone chose slash ProZD pro made a video talking about the whole algorithm thing. Like, I, I, I love the fact that he you just does what he wants and doesn't care, and that he doesn't even use custom thumbnails. I recently found one of his videos called Reciting Like Peter Pan from Memory, and holy crap, that guy is a... Is, what is he? Like, what is that guy? Like, he's... Ah, uh, 
Like, yeah, anyway. He scares me sometimes with how talented he is. Um, but okay. Registering, I see. Will you register so, I probably am not going to get a chance to give my Sonic Brain Rot tangent this Tartarus, but I guess with, with the stream you can never really plan for what the chat's going to talk about. But I'm glad that I did get to give that Xenoblade one. I've completed registration. Is overriding except I've completed registration. Yeah, that's the thing, like, some Asian, it often happens that, like, what you put your passion into just, like, just doesn't do well, and then just some random thing you dump out of nowhere and don't care about gets a bajillion views. It's just a thing that happens. I don't really want to talk about it too much, it's just, it's just, uh... Wait, is, 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 is someone Cho Sydney in Pokemon Masters? Wow, that's cool. Yeah, no, 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 don't worry. I will, I will get to the Sonic Please Brain Rod. I will get to it. The you would like to fuse. I'm honestly a little scared, though, to give my Sonic Brain Rod conversation because there's something about it that I'm worried people will react to badly because it involves shipping, and I know that's a minefield. Um, what come to oh, I can yada garage. Oh, it's Sun Arcana. I hate that, that because Sun, you never need a matching persona for Sun. I guess I can try. It's weird seeing yada garage is so low level, though. Like, like, Yadagaras is really high level in Persona 5. That was Zan A. Oh, right, I needed to level you up until you got Getsu A, so... I can't get rid of Rakshasa. Okay, then. Almost forgot about that. Can I make anything good out of... Oh, if I get Waffle, then I can get rid of Nekomata. This persona, yes? Please choose what skills to inherit. Uh, let's see. I don't really have a lot of good skills on you. Although well, Korga is good. A good well, well, well. Yeah, no, uh, don't worry. I'll give my Sonic opinions at some point. I just feel like, um... After, after this, we're just gonna be getting into more plot and more, like, social links and stuff. Yeah, Rakshasa, Jazz Hands. That's a critical role joke, by the way. Hey, Soul Sea Dribblet. Can that be used to make waffles? Hopefully. Uh, yes, we have waffles now. And now I can get rid of Nekomata. <laughs> Someone show is also James's Carnivine. You know what's even weirder? I believe Cherime Lei is, is Grookey in the Pokemon anime. I saw that, like, looking up her voice actor page, and I was like, what? What? Really? <laughs> really? Uh, I can't make anything good out of Nekamata. That sucks. Take all the time you need to consider. Uh, I feel like I was like, oh, Temperance, that's good for the teacher, right? Nope, the teacher in this one is Hermit. Spoilers. Uh, I think I'm just gonna go for a Search Fusion. Well then, shall we take a look? Sit. Okay. Oh right, Mithras is a fusion request, isn't it? But it. Requires Rakshasa because of course it does. Uh, Seeing what oh, Shisa, Shisa's a thing, and I need—I still need a higher fan, I think. Psychic so Minicata, Temperance, Justice Magician, Empress. Oh, I don't need Empress. This would be a wise choice. What do you wish to inherit? Uh, Rakunda, Autosukaja, Growth One. It appears it will receive... Yeah. Apologies if my personas are not, like, super, super optimal or anything, but, like, I just... I don't really have enough time to go through, like, mega long, long fusions. Uh, Kenji sounds familiar because he's voiced by, uh, Joe Zija. Oh, Ice Boost. That's cool. Uh, do I... I probably want Dodge Fire, but... Actually, maybe I don't want Dodge Fire. Uh, no, Rakshasa. Principality Takaminikata. I mean, that's fine. I need Priestess for Fuka anyway. Do you wish to inherit? Take Zionga. I'll take Elect Boost. Crit Rate Boost, because that's a good skill. And... 
Is Torrent Shot better than Arrow Rain? I'm not actually sure. But I'll take Korha, because I already have a Pierce skill. Will well, then. Shall we begin? You made a busted ass Siegfried. Well, when is Siegfried not busted ass? Uh, Mia, the episode of the Pokemon anime where Pokemon spoke English, um... They didn't speak English, but in Island of the Giant Pokemon, their dialogue was subtitled in English. In some dubs, they spoke English, but in the English dub and Japanese, it was subtitled. Oh, to all foes, okay. Hmm. This is actually a pretty good high pixie. Ah, uh, Narcissus. Nope. Ah. Uh... Oh, Take Mikazuchi is in this game! Oh, I was worried they'd get rid of him because he's too iconic with Kanji, but no! OG Take Mikazuchi's back! Oh, that's cool. Waffle and Rakshasa, because it's always Rakshasa. Why is it always Rakshasa? Oh, okay, I can get Mithras without uh, Rakshasa now, which is good. Please choose what skills to inherit. So let's go. We don't have Ahal on anyone else, really. Uh, Auto Sukikaja, maybe. Growth one. Uh, or I could just get a lot of elements on you. Aha, Aki, Bufu, Garu. There we it go. Appears it will receive a. <laughs> Why, this is exciting. Yeah, Orochi is really low level in this game, too. Oh, yeah, Scarlet Havoc. We, we won't get that for a while, but um, that sadly means there's no Ares in this game. Hama. I don't think I want Hama. Tentarafu is not terrible. Yeah, I don't like Zane, so I'll just get rid of that. Ooh, Swift Strike. Weak strike. Oh, only one to two hits, huh? You drain fire, that's cool. You know, I seem to remember that Lovers uses fire. So maybe... Oh, uh, what's changing? Bufu. Um... Why not? Let's see. Assault dive. Eh, that's not terrible. Don't need devil. This persona is powerful. Uh, Mitra... Oh, hey, both Mitra and Mithras are in this game. <laughs> Their names sometimes get mixed up. Ra oh, again, Rakshasa! I, ah! Don't want to get rid of Rakshasa. Any special fusions that I can do? Oh, Pale Rider! Oh, wasn't Pale Rider, like, one of my best early game personas in the original playthrough? I think it was. Bereth Gurulu Matador. This would be a wise choice. Maeha Fatal End Resist Fear. Oh, no, no, that's too expensive. I need six eggs. That's too expensive. Registering personas? Uh, so what do I have in my list now? I have Strength, Magician, Priestess, also Priestess. Okay, so I need to get rid of Apsaras. Uh, I already have Magician, so I can fuse both of you to get a cheap Angel. Because I need Angel. So I don't care what it you inherit. Well, well, well. Yeah, the four horsemen are always cool, but yes, that feel when death arcana because you don't need you don't ever need that either. Because it's a plot social link. <sighs> of course, the bondage demon learns resist charm. Uh, strength magician priestess chariot justice. So, I don't have a lot of money though for the compendium. Registering, I see. This is your progress so far. So I have magician. I don't need full. I have priestess. I might need emperor. Hierophant. I might need hierophant. Actually, no. I'm probably not going to need hierophant. I don't need loves at all. I have chariot. I have justice. I definitely need hermit. Is this acceptable? So I'll take you. Uh, I think I actually do need fortune. Please, so you'll be summoning this one. May it be your inner strength. I have strength. I may need hangman, but might but might not. I probably need temperance at some point. I I'll think about what to get next. Are you finished? If I need one of the others, I'll I'll get it out of the we velvet room. The fact that you can freely access the velvet room at night is makes things a lot easier. But uh, yeah, so. 
Uh, I, I'm really, I'm starting to worry now that this stream is going to feel like filler, but like, we're, we're hopefully going to get to a full moon this, this, this stream. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll definitely get to a full moon, so that'll be cool. And yeah, I would give my Sonic Brain Rot tangent, but at the same time, I, uh, also, I also want to talk about the social links and other stuff like that. Yeah, um, uh, yeah, I'm glad the compendium marks hard, hard items too. I'm gonna need to refill my water at some point. Yeah, the answer being DLC is kind of interesting. Uh, hey. Keisuke, Art Club, okay. So what's available today? Bebe and, uh, Keisuke can rank up. I think that means side quest, maybe? Yeah, true, a stream can't really be called filler. You know, actually, on the subject of Sonic, I, I can just say, um, I got, um, I did get, um, front, I did buy Frontiers yesterday. So, uh, that's something that I've wanted to, oh yeah, I can report that in. Ah, yes, fusion spells. Um, oh yeah, don't forget Itagawa, thank you about that. Um, but, um, but yeah, so I've got Frontiers. Uh, I don't know if anybody would, would consider, if would enjoy me just streaming the beginning of Frontiers, just to see what it's like. Frontiers OST is so good, yeah. Uh, I want to ask, what the crap is Sonic Frontiers OST budget? There's like 20 vocal songs in it. Like, how? How did they have the budget for that many vocal songs? Like, why? I, I don't, like, I'm not complaining. I'm not complaining at all. But like, but how did they have the budget for that many, for that many vocal songs? Anyway. And, like, apparently they were struggling. Like, like if that game didn't do well, like, bad things were going to happen, like, to Sonic Team. And instead they got a massive pay rise. <laughs> because it did better than everyone expected. Um, but, okay, like, even some of the generic, um, like, the generic cyberspace songs, like, the, have vocals. Like, I, I don't, why? Oh yeah, Kurosawa, the reward for the missing people. I'll do that. Oh, I don't even need this. I have max courage. Oh, okay. Um, okay, you know, you know what? Okay, okay, so, um, so, so, okay, okay, right then. Um, so, sorry to, 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 to not talk about the Sonic Frontier thing for a moment. I found out something about Persona 3 recently. Um, so, you know how the game keeps showing music notes? Even if you've maxed a social stat. So I learned this recently, okay? Check this out. Apparently, it is possible to overflow a social stat back down to one. However, it's only possible via a lot of New Game Pluses. Because New Game Plus carries over your complete like social stat, including any excess points. Apparently, if you get something like over 300 social stat points, the social stat will overflow back down to rank 1. Oh, thank you later, that's nice. Yeah, the police definitely can't accept gifts, that would be bribery. Much obliged. No, it's definitely a bug. I love how much people are freaking. Apparently, it, it's that's a that's the case in all Persona games that have um social stats. I think even in five, like theoretically, yeah, you gain so much Riz it implodes on itself. Yes, Bradley Harris, that's what happens. <laughs> new speedrun category. Like, like I'd imagine you'd have to do like ten new game pluses to even come close to that. You need to get something like three hundred social points in a stat when you only need like I forget how much it takes to fully max a stat. But it's only something like 50 or 50. Like, it's, it takes a very long time. But it but it's a thing that can apparently happen. And I can't believe I didn't know that when I did my original playthrough. 
You become so charming you had to make yourself ugly to get people off of you. <laughs> yeah, I guess that's true. Hmm. I don't know if it's even true of this version. Oh, hey, Chihiro's available. She's level rank 3, too. But, um, let me just check. So we've got, uh... Bebe can rank up, but I don't have Temperance. Keisuke can rank up, but I don't think I got, uh, Fortune. Or did I? Did I get Fortune? I got Fortune. Okay, so Keisuke it is. Just out of convenience. <laughs> out of pure convenience. I don't know. No, it is, it isn't. Uh, maybe on a new game plus, you could do a, you could get a max social link run with your social stats still at one. Because you'd have to, like, have them at five for Yukari, Fuku, and Mitsuru. Um, but then you would have to, um, make sure they underflow right maybe afterwards. Maybe be better if I just quit. The club would probably be fine without me. Besides... I, oh no, Fuka's pessimism is rubbing off on you. I don't think I'm cut out to be an artist. What? Uh, Abyss Slayer, fastest social link to rank up to 10 in P3s. I, I'd say, off of, I, like, if I had to guess, I'd say Hierophant, because they're available most of the week and they're pretty quick to rank up. Uh, how long have you been here? Did you hear everything? <laughs> Well, both of these are basically the same thing. <laughs> so you did hear everything then. My dad told me to quit the art club. He said I need to study more and concentrate on my future. Ah, uh, yes. Obviously a very relatable moment to um, Japanese audiences. I mean, and I hope that doesn't sound presumptuous or like I'm speaking for another culture or anything, but like I do know this is pretty true. When I told him I was a finalist in the contest... Jonas Scott is key. Oh, no, Griffin Burns. No, proud. not Jonas Scott, sorry. But all he said was that I was wasting my time. He said it's my responsibility to take over the hospital because I'm his only son. Admittedly, running a hospital is pretty cool. My dad doesn't care about me. He only cares about his stupid hospital. And it's not just him either. Just because my dad's a doctor, everyone expects me to be one too. I have my own dreams too, you know? I can't stand it anymore! Complaining to me won't help you. <laughs> no, I don't want that. It's my life, and I want to live it my way. <sighs> Sorry. I figured it out. I'm going to make a bet with my dad. If I don't win the contest, then I'll quit the club just like he wants me to. Oh boy, this kind of thing. But if I win, then I can do whatever I want. And as soon as I get home, I'm going to convince- Oh yeah, Jonas Scott is Randy, isn't he? In tr in Trails. Do you mind keeping this under wraps? I don't want anyone worrying that I might quit the art club. So let's just keep this between us. And that would be four? Yeah, four. Do you mind letting the art club know that I'll be taking the day off? I want to have the talk with my dad today. Oh boy, I hope that goes well. See you later. Yeah, so I, I love his anger in that. Like, his anger sounded really genuine. But yes, this does feel like a moment before disaster. <laughs> that's, the, that's true of a lot of Persona 3 social links. Like, most Persona 3 social links are ticking time bombs. Okay, we got the seeds. I think it's like not until the 7th when they'll grow. I don't know what historical figure associated with Rebellion would be good for the Hangman Arcana. Oh, actually, hang on a minute. What about Ned Kelly? So I've always thought that if I ever did a Persona 5, like, fanfic or something seriously, Ned Kelly would be, like, the best Phantom Thief Persona idea ever. Um, he's basically the closest thing Australia has to, like, a Phantom Thief archetype. Um, and, yeah, I... Wait, no, I, I think he... Did he die in a shootout or did, did he... Oh, no, I think he did die by hanging. But he, but he, I think he had some pretty epic last words as well. Um, but yeah. I might talk about it more in Strikers, but I do feel like Ned Kelly is, like, definitely a really good idea for- Yeah, like, like, why was Ned Kelly not a Persona 5 Persona? I guess he's less well known outside of Australia. But, like, his history is pretty crazy. Like, some Asian, I agree. Like, if you look him up, and he has, like, that iconic armor and that helmet. Like, he, he made, he made his own armor.
Mutatsu is the aftermath of a time bomb going off. Yeah, that's actually very true. Hmm. If this was a fan fiction, I would say it's because they're secretly in love with each other. But no, the 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 answer is actually more sinister. <laughs> No, he actually ate all the topsicles. Yeah, uh, definitely, like, look up, look up Ned Kelly. Uh, he's interesting. I mean, he did some legitimately bad stuff uh, as well. Like, not gonna, not to, like, glorify him or anything, but he is, like, um, he is, like, Australia's, like, the closest thing Australia has to a Phantom Thief legend. Uh... Wanna let it all out? Uh, okay. I like how they're like urgently seeking workers. Uh, I think today is a higher payday for the, um, for Chagall. Well, I mean, yeah, Yukari and Mitsuru is a fairly popular ship. I, I'm, I, I, yeah. And I can, I can kind of see it, but, but, but yeah, I, I just, um, just thought it would be fun. It's, it's, it's like, you know. It's got better basis than just, oh, they hate each other, so therefore they must be in love. I've always been bothered by ships like that. No, you didn't miss the Love Hotel, Ian. Um, the Love Hotel is coming up in seven days. Seven days until spiciness. <laughs> yeah, I don't know why. There's actually quite a few people who 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 think that I'm I'm British, but I... I have a more subtle Australian accent. Oh, is this going to be Chidori? Oh no, just Creepy hey. Boy. Hi, Creepy Boy, what do you want? Can you guess what I'm going to tell you? That the end is coming and that there's going to be an ordeal soon? Used to it by now, huh? Like, I mean, technically Australian accents are evolved out of British ones, but but still, it, it, they're a little different. Like, it's 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 e the you can tell the distinction if you're Australian, but like, to me, like, I can I can tell when there's a fake one. For example, Gondor. The next full moon will be in one week. Are you prepared? Be careful, okay? Yeah. See, some people. I don't know. I I've never liked enemies to lovers personally. I mean, unless Sly and Carmelita in in Sly counts, but that's like police officer and thief, which I feel is a little bit different. And they also kind of are on the same side most of the time because Sly is going up against worse criminals. Anyway, don't worry. I'll come see you again. Oh, I probably will do an age rating joke for the stream where I fuse Mara. I don't know what level Mara is in this game. Wait, what, isn't Mara level 69 in one of the games? Is this the one where Mara is level 69? Good morning. If true, it would be funny because that would be a, a, um, a, a it would predate the 69 meme. Uh, I think I'm prepared. All right. Yeah, I typically don't like rivals to lovers either, but that's just me. Some will mistake someone's accent for being British, even though they're not even close to being British. Yeah, my accent is obvious with certain words. Like, like the A sound, like, we don't really say R. We say, like, whenever Australians say an R sound, it basically sounds like an elongated A. It's 75 in this one. Oh, no, level 69, Mara. Oh, well. Like, for, to me, for enemies to lovers to work, um, like, the enemy has to be very, very much, like, redeemed. And, like, redeemed for a while. Um, and, like... Ah, uh, I'm just trying to think of, like... It's... It's kind of... Oh, I, oh hey, you can actually just press the D-pad to cycle between the social links. That's cool. I didn't know you could do that. Uh, Hidetoshi, Keisuke, and... Y oh, Yuko. I do need Yuko to be higher. I know I have Rakshasa. So, so sorry, baby. Oh, wait, I haven't talked to the Mitsuru simp in a while. I was walking around the other day, and this weird guy walked up to me. He didn't wear a shirt, and he had weird tattoos. I tried to look away, but I accidentally looked him right in the eyes. I looked at someone besides Mitsuru in the eyes. My life is over. And they were the coldest eyes I've ever seen. And then he smiled at me. 
God, even thinking about it gives me shivers all down my back. If only it had been Kirijo Senpai, I would have fainted on the spot. Yes, yes, I would have fainted. I would have fainted. And then she would have carried me, carried me to the, to the nurse's office. And then, and then, and then. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, oh yeah! This is how you unlock the monk. I was wondering when that happens. Two people who would very much get along the same. Yeah, like, I, I, I guess. <laughs> is it weird that the only enemies to lovers that I vaguely like is, like, Dimitri and Edelgard, except ironically? I just think it's funny to ship that on ironically. Yep, yeah, Monk. I, I think the Monk social link is quite good, honestly. I wonder what he sounds like in this version. Yeah, Romeo and Juliet are star-crossed lovers. That's different. Like, they're, like, where, where, um, like, our, our factions are enemies, but we're not. Like, I prefer that kind of thing, honestly. Uh, didn't you already say that? Yeah, I'm looking forward to Mutatsu. Living Bill wondering wh wh whether they'll be able to use their umbrellas. Oh no! Oh no! They won't be able to share umbrellas together. They won't. And Kaguya and 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 um, Shirogane will never be able to do that ridiculous umbrella plan. I, I love that clip so much. <laughs> the umbrella sharing, the the umbrella sharing gambit. The difference in preparation. Uh, Ian Sinclair is such a great narrator in that. <laughs> Just. Again, Kaguya is like one of the only tropes um, where I um, um, I don't prepare. Isn't that... uh, but yeah, um, uh, Kaguya Summer is one of the only anime where I actually watch dubbed just because Ian Sinclair is so good. Um, I okay, so so um, uh, Jundori is less enemies to lovers and more I can fix her, but actually good. That's how I describe it. Part-time position, games. Oh, um, Mutatsu shares a VA with Omega and Team Sonic Racing, apparently. I, I, see, the, the reason why I like Kakia Summer is that, like, I normally don't like romantic comedies. Like, I appreciate a good romantic subplot in a non-romance work, but I don't like romance works in themselves. But Kaguya Summer is really good because it kind of avoids a lot of the cliches of the genre. In that, like, Kaguya and and Shirogane genuinely do already like each other. Like, it's mutual, their feelings. It's just that they're both so sundere that neither of them wants to be the one to confess first. So the whole will they, won't they thing is justified and, like, parodied. Uh, I haven't actually done the Sonic Tangent yet, Game of Zorro. Ah, oh, Chidori joining Seas would be so good. I'd love to see that. Emergency! You haven't done my social link in a million years! Nope. Yeah, no, they both fix each other. That's, that's, yeah, but that's for later. That's spoil. I'm, I'm, we're, we'll get to that later. We'll get to that. Don't worry. We'll get to that eventually. Uh, okay, candy's available. So, right. I'm gonna have to do a spend time with Kenji, so waffle. So okay, now remember when I said that I really wanted to, um, well, I wanted to spend time with Kenji? So last night I thought of something, and I wonder what you guys all think about this. Now, Kovu and Kiara in Lion King 2 is literally just Romeo and Juliet, but anyway. Okay, so. So okay, so here we go, here we go. I pictured last night Kenji sings Bowser's song from the Mario movie, except instead of peaches, it's teachers. Oh yeah, definitely check out the Xenoblade 2 tangent. Yeah, that was good. We haven't done the Shirakawa Boulevard yet, no. Welcome back. 
So it's like, like I'm, I'm sorry, my seeing is bad, but like that's, that's, that's kind of, kind of the point. Teach, you're so cool, and when we date, it's gonna rule. Like teach, understand, I'm gonna love you till the very end. Anyway, sorry about my awful singing. Oh, well, that's cool. They have a unique picture for that. Apparently I'll find myself freezing up. I was too busy thinking about yes, and then it just goes teacher, 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 teacher. <laughs> yeah, that's my head cannon. Kenji sings that. Uh yes I have. Like, Joe Zija would probably do something like that. I'd love to hear him do something about that. <laughs> do something like that. Yeah. Misunderstandings. Oh, I guess so. At least in misunderstandings with you and the fan base. Uh, Thursday. Right then. Oh, monk! I can start the monk. But I do still want to get my social stats up. Limited meal set today. What do we got at Polonia Mall? If it's dating sim, I do want more charm. Yeah, Kenji is the, the reverse of, um, of, um, of Notice Me Senpai, it's Notice Me Sensei. <laughs> yeah. Like, not to, you know, make light of that whole thing, but it's just like, Kenji is just so deluded that it's funny to make fun of him. He's just so painfully, hopelessly deluded. Yeah, I'm pretty sure Josija has done God Shattering Star. I originally had joke lyrics to God Shattering Star um, about Nemesis being a generic bandit and he sings about ro about raiding villages and opera. Oh, Persona 4 Rewind would be a good name for a Persona 4 remake. Oh no. Excuse me? Oh no, don't let your boyfriend take you to Shirakawa Boulevard, then, uh, then the Emperor Social Link will tackle you and get you expelled for inappropriate, obscene actions. Yep, yep. Yeah, he did do a real cover of God Shattering Star as well. And yes, Family Jewels. The ones found unconscious somewhere. You couldn't see me doing air quotes there, but I did. Uh, yeah, admittedly, I would be... Go away, Yakoda. Oh, well, uh, Murasaki Shikibu, okay. Apparently that was not her real name. Oh, it was a pen name, yeah, that, that's what he's, what he's saying, but yeah. Uh, by the way, Tale of Genji is, uh... Mm, there's, there's stuff in it that's a little bit... Mm. I didn't realize that she was on the 2000 yen bill. I think Soseki Natsume is on one of the yen bills as well. Thou shalt not recite such a tale of this world before the princess. Uh, huh? Oh no, we're gonna fail Junpei again, aren't we? I've had a really bad track record with class questions. Uh, about... Okay, so, so it was... Um, Thou shalt not recite such a tale of this world before the princess. Peaceful world, public opinion, romance. I have not read the original tale of Genji, but I do know it's about a guy who, like raises a child and then marries her when she's old enough, which is, yeah. Um, so... Uh, I want to say this? Yes, I'd love to use Essence of Orbital Laser. Ah. Oh, Relationships. Oh boy, the world thing being used to refer to things. Um, yeah, um, that was a big mistranslation that happened with, with, um, with Sonic, actually. Yeah, I'm so sorry to, um, yeah, put that out there, but yes, I, 
I originally like like I originally wanted to read it because it's in Carmen San Diego and it was like one of the most iconic like it's one of the first novels ever written but like then in in university I found out that was it that was what it's what it what happened in it like admittedly the main character is kind of meant to be a villain protagonist but yeah yeah, I overthink everything too much. Yeah, I should just choose the obvious things. I do that in Ace Attorney as well. Uh, how... I can probably afford to rewind that one. Uh, wait, no, that's wrong. I can afford to rewind that one. Yeah, the mistranslation with the term world is in Sonic Forces. Um, so basically what happens in Sonic Forces is that, um, uh, is that, um, they said that classic Sonic was from another dimension, and they're like, oh wait, do they retcon the classic games to be an alternate universe and not canon? Because in, in, uh, like, in, uh, in Generations, it's confirmed that classic Sonic is Sonic from the past, like, it's a young Sonic, and that was canon. But then, they're like, oh, they on that. They actually didn't, because in Japanese, the term Sekai can refer to different time periods as well. Uh, like, world has a lot of loose meanings in Japanese. So, when Tails said, oh, it's the Sonic from another world, he meant it's the Sonic from another time period. But, like, they mistranslated it, and then it, as another dimension, and then it's like, whoops, um... We just accidentally retconned the entire classic timeline to not exist anymore, and everyone got really mad. And then they had to. Then Tails Tube finally clarified, no, uh, no, that's not what it is. It's still the past. Ray and Mighty are still canon. Yeah, I agree that even by villain protagonist standards, that is disturbing of Tale of Genji. Yeah. Yeah, apparently that whole thing came from a mistranslation. I'm glad I rewound. We're officially popular. Um, but yeah, apparently that Sonic thing was a mistranslation. Yeah, mistaking star and planet, that's definitely kind of similar. Oh boy, Junpei and Ryan would get along really well. <laughs> Work related, no subject. Let's go grab some... dot dot dot, okay. Ken... oh, Kenji can rank up, Bebe... oh, Fuka can rank up. Um... Um... like, I do kind of want to speedrun Kenji, but also Fuka. I just... I... Fuka. I guess we should... We've been doing a lot of Fuka Social Link. Oh, yes, the Wicked Song from, you know, Becoming Popular. Um, not Becoming Popular, Popular. Because Beco Becoming Popular is a My Little Pony song. <laughs> Definitely shows where my priorities are. Um, oh, this is the day that you max Hidetoshi. I'm worried that I'm spreading my Social Links a little bit too thin, but yeah. I want to be able to make more than just rice balls. I want to be able to make jelly-filled donuts. I started learning how to cook because I wanted to thank everyone for what they've done for me. Thinking about what Arcana characters from other video games would be, um, I haven't really put much thought to that, but like since I randomly referenced Pony just then, like Rainbow Dash is 1000% Chariot Arcana. Like she is absolutely Chariot Arcana. And Fluttershy is definitely strength, in my mind. I told myself I needed to do something more, but then I started to doubt myself again. That's when I thought of you. So what I'm saying is, um, I'd like you to help me. For yeah, Rarity probably longer. is Empress. Um, Twilight is probably Fool, maybe, or Star. Actually, she's probably Star. Um, given like stuff, but yeah. And I'd really appreciate it if you could keep giving me your advice. I promise I'm going to do the best I can. So, can I count on you? Really? 
Yeah, is it just me or is Fuku really easy to place? Oh, Pinkie Pie is definitely some. Sorry to randomly go to ponies, but like, yeah, optimism, like, you know, making people smile and be and happy and stuff. Pinkie is definitely some. Oh, I'm so happy to hear that. Thank you. I feel like Spike is probably magician. I just want to thank everyone for helping me find my place in the world. I know I don't seem very reliable. But I want to make myself a useful member of the team. Why do you think you're useless? You're amazing. It's kind of interesting that, that Fuka goes through her, um, her, like, feeling useless arc in optional content, because most of the navigators go through that in the main story, I feel. Well, not Rise, but, like, Morgana did. Uh, Discord's arcana would be incomprehensible to the human mind. If you tried to read it, your brain would just melt. <laughs> it feels so reassuring to have your support. More than anything, though, I want to keep learning. For your sake, too. I'd like to be able to help you with more than just fighting. I do agree that Trixie would be moon. Uh, yeah, actually, honestly, Applejack is probably more Empress than Rarity is, because Applejack's like the... I was thinking what she'd be. She's like the, the sort of team mom of the group. Like, she's sort of the mother of the team. So, yeah. In that case, Rarity might be like Priestess or Star, um, maybe? You don't think I'm... I'm overdoing it, right? Sorry. I guess I'm the only one who can answer that. I guess Discord is full. Has there ever been, like, a reverse fool in the series? Because, like, that would be interesting. <laughs> Discord's Arcana is the happy squirrel. That's a Simpsons reference, by the way. I'd still love to see... I, I really want to do a joke about the happy squirrel Arcana in a Persona game, because that would be amazing. <laughs> Not the happy squirrel! So, yeah, Fuka's ranking up pretty quickly. When did Fuka's romance start originally? I want to say 7 or 8. 7 or 8, maybe. Tessman said, I'll be a little late before disappearing. It turned out a little late meant never, because they died. I mean, you know, this is still really tragic, but still. Have you heard? Shadow's attacking couples now! It's great! Now I don't have to feel bad being single! Hey there. Oh yeah, oh yeah, Persona 4's villain is definitely reverse fool, now I think about it, yeah. Mm. Like, I, I believe, um, like, like I don't want to... I'm not going to say this because it would start discourse again, but Fire Emblem Three Houses has one of the only cases of reverse world that I've ever seen. Okay, limited meal set, games, let's see. Yeah, the idea of somebody changing Arcana would be really interesting as well, like by what Joker is suggesting for a pony character. Like the idea of a Persona character who actually changed Arcana. Yeah, I like Dimitri being Justice. Dimitri being Justice fits on so many levels, it's insane. Uh, reverse world means, off the top of my head, I believe reverse world is like short, because because world is like fulfillment and like achieving your purpose. Reverse world is like using shortcuts uh, and not like getting there without and trying to just rush to your goal without caring about the consequences. Uh, I don't need House of the Deceased anymore, sadly. Escape route has gotten too late in the game. Yeah, I believe that's the Fuka skill that gets you out of the dungeon. Uh, Tower in three houses is Catherine and Lysithia, and that does fit as well. 
Well, I mean, Tower and Three Houses symbolism is more about the crest itself than about its characters. Um, but like, because the crest of Camelon tends to do bad things to people. Are you accepting a request? Yeah, it is. It is funny that Three Houses equivalent to Fool is the least relevant. It's Anna, by the way. Um, Anna has the Fool crest. Um, I think that's Edagawa. Yeah, that is Edagawa. I'll have to remember that one. Very well. Okay. Uh, right. So we have that limited meal today. Yeah, the crests are arcana related. So Sylvain is death, um, or, or Gautier is death, and uh, uh, what? Which one's Felix? Is Felix? No, Felix is emperor. Fraldarius is emperor. <laughs> Cozy Glow being reverse full. I mean, I didn't mind Cozy Glow. A lot of people didn't like her, but I, I thought she was. I, thought, I mean, I, she could have used better execution, but I think I think the idea was interesting. Oh, Marianne is devil. Marianne's crest is devil, and it makes a lot of sense if you know that. Still not at up. I think academics is the slowest stat to raise out of out of all of them. Morning. Yes, full moon again. Crazy how time flies. I have not tried Unicorn Overlord yet, but I might want to... yeah? Uh, we've just done more social links, Jared. And Fuka. Oh, I forgot Sedith was Magician. Wait, is that really true? I thought he was something else. Okay, we're gonna sail it. Oh, he gets. <laughs> Yeah, academics is the slowest, um, slowest to rank up, someone said. Fuka Yamagishi. Uh, Fuka can rank up again, wow. And, oh yeah, Yuko can rank up. Uh, also Maiko. Uh, it's been a little while since we ranked up Yuko, so I'm gonna unfortunately be a bit of... Yeah, no, Sedith is not justice. Dimitri is justice. Um, Blathed is justice. Yeah. Keyhole is strength. Oh yeah, no, Macuel is magician. I remember it, it now, yeah. Uh, I think Hanged Man is one of the Abyss Crests. <laughs> Sedith and Ferdinand are strength. Yeah, like, that and Justice, because, because, the, 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 like, some decks have strength and justice swapped, I think, so that might be what confuses people. Wait, you actually beat this Yuki Chan? I swung my arms really hard, just like you said. Wow, seriously? That's amazing. Yeah, Yuri is hangman, that makes sense. Okay. Next time, I want you to try running with your toes raised. You'll go even faster that way. Yeah, there's a debate over Dimitri being strength or justice. I, I do feel like like Blathed is definitely justice and Sedith and Ferdinand are strength, but that's just me. It's because, again, tarot decks sometimes have certain arcanas reversed in numbers. I did a lot of research on this, so I'm glad to see it's actually. Yeah, Laminate being judgment is interesting. Like it's a it's a weird take on judgment. And uh, that's Marianne and and uh Yuritsa, by the way. It's it's an interesting take on judgment. Coach them. I gotta do a good job, right? I even used the school library for the first time to put together a training routine. I gotta say though, I'm amazed how much their times have improved just from correcting their form. Elementary school kids really learn fast, don't you think? Yeah, it reminds me of all those discussions about how it's better to learn a language at a young age because of when you're older, it's just harder for some reason. I don't know about that, but hearing you say so... Mercedes, not Marianne. Like yeah, right, sorry. <laughs> I actually, I like Mercedes a lot. Why did I get that wrong? Oh, these kids really give it their all. 
Uh, yeah, there's there's now debate in the chat over whether Dimitri's strength. I mean, I guess he could fit either. I just think thematically he fits Justice really well. Uh, we got to debating Fire Emblem Arcanas because um, we talked about like what would fictional char other fictional non-Persona characters be. Hey, hold on a second. You're all supposed to be on break right now. It's important to take time to get good rest. Kids your age need to be careful not to overdo it. You could get really hurt. And people Kaz's age need to especially not overdo it. Ahem, <clears throat> Kaz. We do only have so many days to train here. Little does Yuko know, she accidentally trained these kids to be shonen protagonists. I don't know. What do you think? Should I change the training routine? Maybe they should be running more. It's soccer, right? We're training them for soccer. I guess being a good runner is, um... Is, yeah. Oh. As always, the social links always tell them exactly what they want to hear. You know what? You're right. I am the one who did all the research on how to avoid straining yourself. All right, listen up. I'm your coach now, so you stop running when I tell you to stop. Um, maybe that's not going to end well. That's a promise you've got to keep. But in return, I'll make sure you get faster than you've ever been. How does that sound? Think you can keep that promise? Auntie Coach, you're a liar. <laughs> Auntie Coach. Weirdly, I feel like that sounds like the name of, like, that could be the name of a live-action Disney Channel show. Auntie Coach. What did you just call me? All right. Those who agree to the terms, go back to your break. Okay. Oh, Kaz being relatable to someone with a broken leg. That's, that sucks. Hopefully that recovers. Oh, sometimes well. I can't tell if they're actually listening to me or not. This kind of feels good, doesn't it? Like some coming of age story. Uh, Cars wasn't even available today. So, um, thanks for giving your input earlier. I'm glad I asked you to coach with me. It means a lot having you here. The sequel to Uncle Grandpa, yeah. <laughs> oh, I heard weird things about Uncle Grandpa. Oh, by the way, the kids seem like they want to run with you. You think you could do just one lap? It'd be setting a good example for them. I like all of this discussion of Fire Emblem Arcanas in the chat. Not really going to get into it too much now, but um, eh, it's pretty interesting. Yeah, I guess Martha's Star, man, because Star is like hope, I think, like, and hope after tragedy. Welcome back. Yep, there is going to be stuff. Yep, um... Let's see. Yep, still more missing people. How how have they not figured out that um that um uh, that, that it's always couples and they've always been around Shirakawa Boulevard? Like, shouldn't that be painfully obvious by now? That like everybody is going to this love hotel is getting knocked unconscious. Like you'd think. Uh, Raya is priestess. Uh, Shiori, because Crest of Seros is Priestess. Yeah. Hey. Mm. Yeah. I, like, like, and I don't want to get into this, but I do think that Raya actually does fit the symbolism of Reverse Priestess pretty well. Let's... what do we got on a Saturday night? Crest of Flames is world, not full. That's what I meant about there being a potential reverse world in Three Houses, which is something you don't see very often. I guess I can play You're the Answer. You're the answer! Yes, the hit new uh, DLC for this game. Which I've already given my thoughts on. Like, I mean, it's, it's fine. Ah, uh, really hasn't even going up. 
Yeah, Gerald is also priestess by extension. Uh, I, I, I have reached the barrier in Tartarus, and I've saved everyone, I think. I'm pretty sure Leon... No, wait, no, Leonie doesn't have a crest, does she? Uh, Chihiro, and... I don't think... Guess who's bored? I don't think Chihiro's ready to rank up, so I could see her if I wanted to. That might make things better. Maybe. Unless Hermit is ready to go up as well. Okay, what's home shopping? Uh, snack set. Yaba chocolate! Isn't, isn't yaba dangerous in Japanese? I think like short for yabai. Doctor in jelly. Um, that sounds really bad. Thanks. I feel like Cedar from Fire Emblem was probably Priestess, but I don't know. Or Lovers, maybe. Uh, Maya is ready to rank up. Good. Uh, so do I see Chihiro or do I go Maya? Yeah, 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 buy is like crazy or wild. It's like dangerous, but in a cool way. On the next episode of Phoenix Ranger for the Man R, episode 20, Married Life, the Fifth. We interrupt this broadcast because we don't want to confirm any ships between the Featherman as canon. We're going to keep you speculating for all time. Nope. Because if we make one of the ships canon, then the other two thirds of the fan base that didn't ship them will go insane. Yeah, I kind of want to see Chihiro today too, I think. Yeah, people aren't suggesting Temperance or Fortune. Those are kind of rare arcanas. I don't know if Yuko's ready to rank up or not, but I know Chihiro definitely isn't, so let's go hang out with Chihiro and I have Angel. The Mood Whiplash of Love! That sounds like something out of Kaguya, actually. Oh, she looks pretty, pretty nice in her casual outfit. I don't really see her casual outfit that often. Oh yeah, she likes manga, doesn't she? Without spending too much money. Oh, don't worry, we're kind of loaded right now. I mean, Mikaya is definitely Priestess, yeah. Jiro is blushing. I learned a little more about her today. Like that she's maybe into me. Shut up, Yaris, dude. Yeah, yeah, Gonoril being fortune in three houses was always something I found a little weird. Like, I would, yeah, Lucina as fortune would be, would make a lot of sense, actually. But, like, yeah, Gonoril as fortune is a bit weird. Okay, only two more days until, uh, until you know what. Until you know what. Yep, you might indeed know what. I was about to say something's coming, but then that just made me think of there's a, there was an old video about, um, about, like, bad video game voice acting, and there's a line in that where it's, oh no, something's coming. Oh no, he's going to explode. In like a voice that sounded very much like Fuko. It was it was weird. Uh let's see. Yeah, there aren't a lot of blush effects in the dialogue portraits. Then again, I haven't got any romance roots yet. Still not an academics rank up. Yep, anxiety rising. Yes, very fun and isn't full moon. Definitely not have anything overly notable at all. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> what?
Well, I mean, we're going to be getting in the ring with two shadows this time. Spoilers. Okay, tomorrow's the big day. Practice work-related. Hello, uh, we have a new burger. Something for you. Um, right, what we got? We got... Fuka can go up. Hidetoshi can't go up. And Kaz can't go up. Maybe I could go Fuka. It feels like Fuka's ranking up really fast. I guess because she is easy to please. Yeah, I don't know if Shares has a crest. Oh, well, I haven't saved for ages. Probably should do that. Yeah, I, I like all the speculation about Fire Emblem like character arcanas, but I do kind of kind of feel like I, I would like us to start talking about something different soon. Also, casually an apathy syndrome person right there, just saying, or a person who's just tired. There weren't really that many cookbooks, were there? Again, Fuka, I recommend the surprisingly good Sonic cookbook. I'm sorry. I didn't realize that store made Actually, okay, this will shift the discussion. Did you know that the Sonic cookbook has a dish called the Soliana Princess Special? Um, and it actually looks like a really nice, like, apple salad. And the best thing about it is that dish is narrated by Amy without a hint of animosity towards Elise at all. And I think that's amazing. I should have looked the place up beforehand. Although she also says that they never met because, yeah, that timeline got erased. So, yeah, but still. Like, I do honestly think that, like, Amy and Elise would canonically be really good friends if they actually did meet. Like, I, I don't think there would be any bad blood between them at all. Oh, Acorn T, you missed it. Yes, there's a Sonic cookbook. We discussed it at the start of the stream. Apparently, it not only exists, it's actually genuinely good. It's also written by Ian Flynn. And someone who did a Halo cookbook, like, for the food. But the actual writing is done by, um, by Ian Flynn. So, like, yeah. He wrote a Sonic cookbook and it managed to be amazing. You know, I'd, li I'd like it if there was a Persona cookbook, honestly. Because I I'd like a real recipe for, for Striker's goat soup. Do you remember what I told you before? I mentioned that I don't really like going to bookstores. Well, about that. Yeah, uh, Scorpion Spear, in my mind, I actually wrote a brief fanfic about this weirdly. I kind of see Sonic and Elise as having like a sibling like relationship kind of. Yeah. Everyone says she should have been like that character in Sonic X, the girl in the wheelchair and I agree. I had a bit of a bad experience in a bookstore once. Yeah, I've forgotten about this. Why are you scared of bookstores? I think it was at the start of last April. Yeah, a real LeBlanc curry recipe would be great. Also LeBlanc uh, uh, coffee. Someone took a picture of me. They accused me of stealing. Okay, suddenly Persona 5. I'm not very tall, right? <laughs> Mystery Food X being in the recipes would be kind of interesting, I do agree. So when I was reaching for a high shelf, I accidentally knocked some books down. Well, a few of them landed in my bag. I went to take them out and put them back on the shelf. Some girl from my class took a picture of me with her cell phone. She even threatened to show my parents. Why? Why are students in Japanese high schools in the Persona universe awful? Why? Why? I seem to remember that messed up being like in the old guide for like answers that give the most points. Thank you. But don't you think I'm stupid for letting this get to me? No, you're not. Like, okay, something that honestly in my life has always bothered me, like, even as a kid, false accusations always infuriated me. Um, I remember being really mad at that episode of the Pokemon anime where Ash and, like, everyone gets sent to jail. They get framed by, like, Butch and Cassidy. Like, that episode, I, I was so mad at that episode as a kid. 
Um, and yeah, I've always despised false accusations. If I just Especially enough, at school. I could have settled it right there. I know that. Yeah, being too shy to actually speak up. But I I still couldn't say anything. I back. do feel like this is relatable to a lot of people. All these negative thoughts kept running through my head. The negative thoughts as well. Yeah, wow. Fuka is I'm yeah, I'm definitely liking Fuka's social link a lot more than I used to. No matter what I said, it wouldn't do any good in the end. But now, I want to believe that I can change. Whenever I'm with you, I feel like I don't get swept up in those negative thoughts. I know I'm being selfish, but... I should also say, and I mean this in the best possible way, Fuka, you might want to also try therapy. Like, it's, like because seriously, I, I think therapy definitely helps with negative thoughts. Of course, you know. Uh, I'm sorry. I don't know what I'm if saying. Persona had good therapists, most of the plots would be over. So there's a reason why there aren't any good therapists in Persona. I'm making it sound like I'm just using you, aren't I? Th th that's not what I meant, really. Yeah. I don't want to really get into that much of a discussion of Chris and Sonic X. I, I honestly haven't seen much of Chris, but like, I from what I can tell, the main reason he gets hated is because he replaced Amy in Shadow's Redemption arc which a lot of people hate because that was one of Amy's best moments. Like, even people who don't like her usually like that moment. What I'm trying to say is... Also, Chris's voice in Sonic X's dub sounds insanely familiar to me, but I looked up his voice actress and I don't recognize her. I've really come to depend on you, and I'm really happy... <laughs> the only Persona therapist had a god That's complex. Awful. That's sadly true. Like, yeah, therapy would solve the problems of many fictional characters. That's the reason why there are so few good therapists in fiction. Oh, wow, there is a mo there's a Monster oh, Hunter cool book? That would be pretty cool. I'm, always going on about I'm so surprised there is not a Breath of the Wild cookbook. There should be a Breath of the Wild cookbook. At this rate, I'm never going to be able to repay you. I should have just discussed my cooking concerns with everyone at the dorm, but... Yeah, the protagonist of Persona of every Persona game is the therapist, yeah. I still headcanon that Yu Narukami becomes a therapist in the future. Somehow, I find myself always going to... Yeah, somehow we've gone from, like, rank 3 to rank 7 with Fuka in one stream. I don't know why. I guess she's just a fast rank up. I think it's because they're compensating for her courage requirement. I want to hear your opinion, but more than that... Yeah, I'm checking uh, Simplicity. I'm checking my texts every day just to see if there are link events. I haven't seen any so far. I wonder why. I'm sure it's because you're a leader. That's why I depend on you so much. <sighs> it would have been. It would have warned me if this was a romance split. If this was a romance split, it would have warned me. I don't think I hopefully this is not a romance split. But I'll make sure to return the favor for everything you've done for me. Yeah, like I, I just feel like Yunarukami would be a really good therapist. Well, I'll see you back at the dorm. Oh, that's interesting. Jason Griffith auditioned for both Chris and Sonic, and they asked him to use his Chris voice for Sonic. Huh. That would explain a lot. That would explain quite a lot. Like I, I so like that happened with some of the My Little Pony voice actors too. Like like I think Tara Strong originally auditioned for Pinkie Pie and she ended up as Twilight. I'm glad she ended up as Twilight because like twi because she's amazing as Twilight. But yeah. Yes, if we lose, everyone who is in a relationship is doomed, which is a good thing for Junpei. Uh, yeah, no, I definitely, like, I'm nowhere close to getting Ken. Like, yeah, definitely not, not anywhere near Ken. Yeah, I'm pretty sure the game does warn you if you're, if you're at a romance split. Oh, hey, Tanabata, we've finally reached the second arc of Persona 5 Strikers. 
Mm. Yeah, I don't I don't really have much of a headcanon for like the Persona 3 protagonist growing up. I I, I see Joker getting into getting into politics. Hello. Oh, I mean Makoto could be a writer. He could make music, honestly. Like he could he could make music maybe. Oh boy, Junpei, if only you, you knew. Way. If only you knew. That last dialogue did do something. Oh, my guess is that's a flag for the romance route, maybe? Maybe that's a flag for the romance route. I wouldn't be surprised if it was. Definitely wouldn't be surprised. Yeah, at least it's not, um, uh, at least it's not, um, I'm glad you're a girl. Ah, uh, I locked myself out of the romance. I wasn't going to romance her anyway, but maybe it gave points. Let me see how, how, like, because I, I kind of want to see what the romance root split is. I was just worried that would start the romance right there. Okay, I'm actually going to reload, going to, going to rewind this just to see. I, I could, I could kind of tell, like, I could, I could kind of tell, oh yeah, that makes sense, like, like saying, is that the only reason? It's, it's, it's like when Hector in his ace fought with Lin says, um, says like, you know, I'm not like this to just anyone you know, and, and it's like, wait, what? Yeah, I, I love Hector and Lin as a ship so much, because it's just, it's, 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 it's kind of subtle. Their A is very subtle, and then you get more scenes in the main story. Not every girl has, I mean, it, it, it makes sense for Fuka being so shy, um, that she would have a flag like that. Yeah, I'm gonna check the vegetables. So here we go, yeah. Um, that's why I depend on you so much. Is that the only reason? And there's the blushing. I, I knew that that would show up eventually. The only reason? <sighs> Sorry, um, I, I think I need to go back to the dorm. I need some time to get my thoughts in order. Uh, this is gonna make me feel bad for rejecting her later, though. Can we talk about this again later. Ah, uh, this is gonna make me feel so bad. <sighs> Thank you. Cause I'm not opposed to this as a ship at all. Like, I'm not really opposed to it. In fact, like, I don't think there's any Persona Three protagonist ship that I don't like, except. Mitsuru, and that's gonna get a lot of people mad at me, but yeah. It's like, I'm not opposed to the idea of a protagonist Mitsuru ship in theory, but the way that it's done is like, not the best, in my opinion. It's similar to me with, with, um, with uh, Naoto in Persona 4. Like, I'm not opposed to the idea of a Naoto romance with you. I do not like how it plays out at all. Uh, buff potato rapidly cures ailments, enhances battle ability, or... Oh, I guess I can do this. I, there's no S... I haven't got an SP plant, though. Yeah, it makes sense to do the other option if you're already dating Yukari. I can see that. I mean, I, I could... Like, yeah, I, maybe reload improve the, rom the Mitsuru romance. Also, hey, VO 105. You know what, Fuka, um, I'm like, Fuka is probably my second favorite ship for protagonist in Persona 3. Probably. Yeah. It's only because I have the hot take that I don't really like Igus' romance that much, but yeah. Go Fuka is probably my second favorite. Here are my requests. Uh, any deadlines? It looks like I've done everything that had a deadline. So that's good. Very well. Uh, in terms of personas, I'm- I'll, I'll just go in with what I have, I'm probably fine. Like, I- I wouldn't say the Mitsuru romance was bad, exactly, in the original, it's just- it felt a little bit out of character for her. Um, I've- I've always described it as, she got a bit too blushy-crushy, quote-unquote, to- to- to make a Xenoblade 2 reference again. She got a little bit too blushy-crushy for my liking, Mitsuru shouldn't get like that. 
Oh, wait, Elizabeth! Why did I not think about Elizabeth? Elizabeth is definitely one of my favorite rogues. I think, although Elizabeth might be tied with Yukari, actually. Because, like, Elizabeth is, is hilarious, but also great. And here we go. Fully. Wait, no. Not yet, not yet, not yet. Perfect! Uh, Femsi ship, uh, either Shinji or Akihiko. Though I really wish that Bebe and Hidetoshi were options. Ryoji is also quite good, but he, you have he's easy to miss. And Akihiko is insanely easy to miss as well. But it makes sense because Akihiko is, 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 is dense. Akihiko is like shonen hero levels of dense with romance. And yep, no preparations today. I mean, no social links today. And now... Fully and here is where things get... Yep. Any luck, Fuka? You know. We'll see it when it comes. Just a moment. I found it. I'm picking up a large shadow in the city. Hey, you were right. Yes, it seems like our full moon hypothesis was correct. You sound a little excited about that, Ikutsuki. Located in Iwatodai, inside a building on Shirakawa Boulevard. Hmm, Shirakawa Boulevard. Yeah, basically every, like, the stage play has Shinji romancing Femsi, the manga does. Like, Shinji is basically canon. They've been finding the lost in pairs lately. Now I understand why. In pairs? Oh. Now I understand. I was like, wait, What's what? What are you talking about? Boulevard? I'm not familiar with that area. Fuku, that's a very good thing. I've heard about it, but... Oh, that's where all those hotels are. That explains a lot. You've heard about them, right, Fuka? Where people go to... You know. What? And blushing again. What is wrong with you? Come now, don't let your imaginations get carried away. They're no different from any other hotel. They're no different to any other hotel. They just have mirrors on the ceilings and heart-shaped beds and and dungeon-themed rooms with chains and manacles and and whips. The rooms are just a bit more exotic. That's all. Or you know, that's a nice way to, to sum it up. Oh, really? I don't know about this. Maybe I shouldn't go. Ah, look at you, Yukatan. You're such a child sometimes. Yes, beds that spin. What? Who are you calling a child? Oh, don't worry. Junpei is gonna get bonked a lot. <laughs> oh, now I'm just remembering. In the, in the in the movies, Junpei literally gets slapped in the face by the protagonist at one point. All right, in this on, arc, let's go. <laughs> he gets inflicted with charm, and then he just gets like smacked in the face. I'm reserving a spot in the lineup for today's operation. No objections. You could just do that? Somebody needs to keep an eye on Junpei after all. So, who's going to take the lead? Yeah, there are new designs that include the equipment. Like th this started after like we rescued Fuka, and it's new to the remake. I don't see any reason to change leaders now. Yeah, apparently Nintendo used to be in this business. Yamagishi, I want you to handle support during the to, Someone said, to be fair, you can do that in any hotel. The thing about these hotels is they're specifically designed to have, like, multiple entrances and exits so that people having affairs don't arouse suspicion because they can go out different exits. I'll do my best. All right. Go ahead and decide on the rest of the team. Let's do this. Oh, yes, Yukari is very much going to regret this choice later. Alright, we can- oh, Yukari is just there. She's forced to be in the party. Uh, I believe she starts this fight with a full Fiyoji gauge as well. Um, but, okay, so, who do we bring? Uh, well, this is Akiko Mitsuru's first time fighting a boss, but also Junpei is, like, fitting for this. I think the boss does use fire? 
Although, technically speaking, I think everyone's going to get a chance to shine here because, um... Because I, because you probably get a chance to respec your party because there's spoilers, there's two bosses. That's all I'll say here. Yeah. Meanwhile, he's still in this outfit. Oh, I'm so sorry, Junpei. So <laughs> sorry. Uh, hang on. No, I've got Junpei here. I've got Junpei. Yes. Hmm. Oh yeah, Rakunda is definitely great for bosses. Uh, yeah. Oh yeah, no, it is Nakiko's first time. It is Mitsuru's first time. So you know what? I am going to put in Mitsuru. Oh, hi, Fuka. Yes. You are the door, apparently. Let's commence the operation. Operation Sleaze is now go. Uh -oh. Mitsuru's like, why is in French? Why? Champs be flowers? <laughs> How do you say that? Something of flowers? It's champ de fleurs. It means field of flowers. Oh, field of flowers. That's that makes sense. Yeah. This is the place. I can sense the presence inside. Then come on, leader. Let's get this over with. <laughs> Let's get this done before we have to see anything we can't unsee. Yeah, Aki being left out as a favor at this point. Later. All oh, right, this music. Large room on the third floor. So, I've always liked this area, and I kind of wish more was done with it because it's like the closest thing Persona Three has to an actual oh, dungeon. There's a coffin behind the reception desk. <laughs> Good to know. <laughs> Junpei, were you thinking of actually using one? Yeah, definitely gives Rise Striptease Club vibes. Well, these people... They're in, an o in a public corridor, okay. Yeah, I don't know what the music is. I, I know that the, the lyrics sounded like love is a heart in the original, but I don't think that was what it's supposed to be. <laughs> yep, we don't want to be called a pervert. No hot spring shenanigans today. Yes, meanwhile in the future, Teddy's having the time of um his life spinning on the bed. Yep. Yes, maybe the coffins were only kissing. Maybe. Hopefully. I know there's a room where there's like three people. Um, so that's going to be interesting to find later on. What? Mystery vending machine. <laughs> oh, yep. I wonder what could be in this vending machine, guys. Uh, yeah. But okay, it's time for like the grand suite where I can't save. Okay. Hierophant's Chamber! That's not predictive of anything at all! I want an auto persona uh, on. So I've got. I've got. Rakunda, Resist Freeze. I know I have an auto persona. Did I get rid of all. I, I got rid of all my auto skills, didn't I? I got rid of all my auto skills, didn't I? Well, that's annoying. Uh, okay, I don't really care what I'm leading with then. They could be on the bed simultaneously reading the Bible. Well, a lot of hotels in America have Bibles that are often stolen. <laughs> Look at that nail bat in the shot. This thing's the boss. Oh boy. <laughs> it's more normal looking than I expected. Yukari, you think a giant fat man with a giant woman behind pleasuring him is normal? Okay then. Uh, but yeah, someone said that they, you were playing this part with your friend. Yeah, you would definitely cause secondhand embarrassment. I'm sorry. At least Mara doesn't show up. Get ready, everyone. Here it comes. Stealing Bibles. So, so apparently the Bible is the most stolen book in America entirely because of that hotel thing. Yeah, I wish Ares was in this game. It's annoying that Mithra stole the spot. Yeah, ex I agree. How the actual F is that normal? Hierophant! 
Now, if I remember right, it uses Bless and maybe Zeo. It also has a big fear attack, but I almost I usually kill it before it gets that off. Uh, Mithras. Okay, let's get the Rakunda going. Uh, reverse Hierophant is like, Hierophant itself is like authority and like the rules and mentorship. Um, reverse Hierophant I think is like often rigidness, uh, rigidly conforming to the rules or blindly supporting authority. But I like to take it, this Hierophant, as basically just being like Judge Claude Frollo. The whole thing of like, oh I am a priest, I am against sexual debauchery, but I go to sexual places anyway, because it's okay when I do it. That's what I always took this guy to represent. Oh wow, Mitsuru looked really cool doing that rapier uh, drawback there, but okay. Uh, I would normally try and status it, but I know it's probably going to be immune. <laughs> Some Asian, you had an auto heat rise persona at this point. That's okay. Yep, Korga. Okay, that's actually kind of painful. Yukari's going to be need to going to going to be need to be, be being on healing duty, whatever. Okay. Do I have an attack debuff on anybody? Does not look like it. I kind of wonder if Arrow Rain with Critical Rate Up is going to do a lot of damage. Let's try this. Uh, not really. Okay. Pull the Devil Trigger. Yes, Hypocrite Hierophant. Thanks. Yeah, this is Merciless, admittedly. Still Merciless mode. Maybe, yeah, I'm going to Raku Kaja just to be perfectly safe. Junpei's Rakukaja has actually been a lot more useful than I thought it would be. Because I, I often don't like single target buffs in Persona, but they're pretty good in, in this game. Let's just Buffalo again. Oh, the woman in Deep Mentality is singing This Is Love, okay. Oh! That, I think, is new. Oh, right, there's Fear. I think Yukari can cure that, so I will disfear her. I believe fear makes you more vulnerable to crits as well, which is terrifying. Uh, oh, I have Theurgy, but I, I want to heal. Uh, it's not uh, full Patra, though. Who's next? Uh, I believe it's uh, Jinpei, yeah. Pull my devil trigger has been slightly corrupted for you due to a certain other fandom you're in. Well, I don't I probably don't want to know what that is. Yeah, at least he doesn't have Ghastly Whale. Oh, but a later a later boss may or may not have that. Just saying. A later boss in this game may or may not have that. Assault dive. Yeah, I believe that would have had a high crit ratio if um yeah. Okay. Oh, I can scan you now. But it's, it, yeah, no weaknesses, as I thought. Okay, no crits there, though. Uh, do I keep healing, or do I just go Theurgy? I want to, I probably should Theurgy you in the face. Okay, not complicated in a bad way, just a brain rot way about that fandom thing. Yeah, I see, I get that there. Yes, right in his big what stomach. Next? Okay, uh, I think my... Yeah, that's going to wear off. Let's put that back on. I'll hit them where it hurts. Uh, Mitsuru does have... Oh, she doesn't have healing yet. Okay. Maybe she doesn't get that until later. Uh, I think I would like to give you the tomato. I appreciate it. Okay, accuracy. I mean, you haven't missed any. You haven't missed it all, so. Nope, no. Oh, of course, of course. Your 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 accuracy debuff goes away, and then you miss, because that's just that's just perfection. That's just perfect, perfect video game logic. Accuracy debuff goes away, then you miss. Oh, that sucks. Only hitting once. Uh... I don't know if this carries over to the next boss, so I'm gonna do this anyway. Radiance Dawn of Life! One of my favorite games, according to earlier. Hey! Healing, that's what I wanted. 
Also, uh, protagonist has Max. I almost, I almost called him Joker. Okay, let's get you down again. Down again. I don't know why my voice did that. Uh, dive into your face. Uh, oh, hey, a lot of us have Theurgies right now. So, let's go. Blizzard Edge! Oh, Mitsuru doesn't get healing at all in Reload, okay. I mean, that's understandable, and I'm fine with that. Like, I never really used her for healing anyway. I liked it better when she was, like, debuffs and status and stuff. Uh, don't make Gary... Of course. Of course. Um... I can't fear G because I'm scared. Um... Ah! I'm too paralyzed with fear to cure fear! Um... Please don't be paralyzed with fear, Yukari. Ah! Okay, that's really bad. That's really bad. I need to disfear Gary Stu right now. Uh, please, I need Hikaru to be on. Oh, you! Of course, Mitsuru is the one who gets through fear. Someone might die. Uh, we'll see. Well, okay, Su Sukunda actually did work that time. Oh, and now I have the Urgy. Kaden no, that's gonna suck. Um, I I think I kind of want to save Kaden. So let's just shoot this again. One hit again! Because of course. Okay, now I can get rid of your fear. Uh, I believe, yeah, his defense's buff is gonna go, so let's... I probably should attack with Junpei, but yeah. Uh, I need to put your Rakunda back up. Yes, of course Mitsuru is the fearless one. I am so glad magic can't randomly crit in this game. Okay, now I'm using Cadenza. Because Princess Mira Mora Cadenza, who in the hoof is that? Let's go! Accuracy evasion up. Uh, I'm gonna debuff your accuracy evasion. Yeah, uh, Mitsuru doing ice damage should be her job. Yeah, but let's go. Hack and blast! Yeah, no, I, I like that Mitsuru gets Rakunda. It's 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 pretty cool. Because I believe Akihiko got that last time. He got, like, every debuff, which is a little bit not the best. Because, yeah. Oh, uh, yeah, let's hit you where it hurts. Right in your big... Uh, oh, your face. Literally your face. Okay. <laughs> Neo Cadenza in the answer. That would admittedly be kind of funny. Yeah, Neo Cadenza, for those who don't know, is um is the um the one in with the DLC version of it in Persona 5, which gives you Heat Riser as well. <laughs> it's just like healing 50% HP and also Heat Riser, because that's balanced for a DLC persona. And then admittedly it costs a lot of SP for early game, but still. Oh, it's nice that someone's getting a birthday gift for, for their mother. I um Anyway, uh... Oh, oh yeah, I have agility up because, um, of Cadenza. almost forgot Cadenza was a thing. And I still have not crit you. It'd be really funny if Mitsuru, of all people, got the crit when she doesn't, like, really care about physical. Oh, don't make Gary Sue afraid, please. Oh, you made everything, everyone but him afraid, okay. Does... Does anyone here have May Patra? By Sudi. Nope. That's just physical ailments. Okay. Uh, Medea. Mm, no, I don't think I have it. So I probably have to just go ahead and use um an item. Oh, I'm running out of, out of dispheres. Yeah, I guess that is her giving Joker a gift across the dimensions. Because Fem C was basically an honorary phantom thief in, in Q2. Uh, let's cure Junpei. Oh, well, that's gonna change right now. No, 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 it doesn't always fail on the MC because, um, because the MC got feared the second time he used that. So it, it definitely does work on the MC. I just got lucky this time. 
Yeah, I typically don't actually go for Patra skills that often in, in this game, but like here it might be useful. And now that weird female thing behind him is just going like, why? Why did I agree to go with this person? Okay, there we go. More hits from that. I probably need to heal everyone again. Yeah, almost down. I don't want to mess this up now. Like, so far this... I don't want to speak too soon. So far this boss fight has not felt, like, super interesting to me. Um, it's really just, like, damage sponge, heal off its attacks, just do things. It's why I like it when bosses have weaknesses in Persona games. Like, I think bosses should have weaknesses more often. Um, like, in SMT5, almost every boss has a weakness, and I prefer that. Somebody has, um, suffered from my vending machine brain rot. I'm just thinking of trying a soda vendor at the con. Uh, hello. Hello, light attack. It, it, Junbei dodged again! Okay. I already know that it has multiple weaknesses. Zero is technically a multiple, right? Um, I'm gonna go for a risky play here. This could kill it. If it doesn't, I'm gonna heal with items. Leak arrow! Hey, nice shot. I think that's, I think it's dead. Yep, there we go, it's down. Oh yeah, he fell right on top of it. <laughs> of course he did. And level ups all round, except for Akihiko, who was not here. Uh, that, yeah, that, I believe that's the first full moon boss that Junpei has not killed so far, so, yep. Garula, I was wondering when you get that. It's only 6 SP too. Not bad. Okay, you get Rakam soon. Oh, yeah. Ah, finally you get Miragi. And no one else is in new moves. However, yep. So stuff is about to happen soon. We did it. The enemy's been defeated. Great work, everyone. I'll be waiting outside for you. Everything is totally fine. We saved the day. There's no more shadows here at all. Are you stupid or something? <laughs> Yukari has the right answer. Oh no, Yukari, Yukari, don't tempt fate, don't tempt fate, Yukari, oh boy. Well, at least there was nothing, there was no coffins in the bed. I was going to make a heart-shaped something reference here, but then I realised that I can't really reference that guy anymore. Also, there's a square mirror here. That might be relevant later. So I don't know if this is, like, possible? Oh, I can't switch out my party at all. Okay, then. Yeah, she sure wants to take a shower, huh? Okay, at least we figured this out quickly. Hmm. Maybe it's under the bed. Nope. Maybe it's in the bathroom. Nope. Maybe. Oh, of course. I've, I just noticed that, of course, you can see right into the bar from the bedroom. Because why wouldn't you be able to do that here? And, of course, it's in the mirror. And so... Here it comes. Oh, TV. Check the TV for funny dialogue. Okay, sorry about that. But yep, here it comes. Oh, Atlas. Atlas soap. That's cool. Yep. She really wanted it. She said she wanted it. She tempted fate. Oh, Junbei said it would be funny if there were shadows in the TV. That's probably a Persona 4 reference. Did he say that in the original? What was I doing? I guess it doesn't matter now what happens. I 
feel like I'm forgetting something important. Wasn't there somebody in the shower? Because clearly that's the most important thing right now. I can hear the shower running in the bathroom. I feel an intense compulsion to go in there and trigger Crom and Robin's support chain. Embrace your desire. Oh wow, that's fully voiced. Who voices the sleaze voice, by the way, if anyone knows? I am the voice of your inner self. Revel in the moment. That which cannot be felt is merely a dream. The present is all we have. It is kind of interesting how this is, like, how relevant this is to the th themes of this game and what the shadows represent. Oh yeah, it is Alex Lee, that would make sense. That's right. So, I believe this conversation loops if you choose the wrong options. I'm, for the sake of things, I'm probably just going to go for the right ones. The future is but a fantasy. Memory, a fabrication. Let your desire free you from your shackles. Such is your wish. Oh my, yeah, wow, this, this, wait, this, no, is, is this the same, this, that's not the same VA as, no, it's not Vivia Twilight, is it? But yeah, the I want to die stuff, it does sound like Vivia Twilight. Yeah, it is Alex Lee, apparently. Pleasure is what you truly seek. Oh no. I, well, I can't give in there. I just made me think of Silver from 06 going, I won't give up! Can't lose! Not when I'm so close! When does he say that? I forget when he says that. It all depends on me! You stand before the doorway to bless. You stand before fan service. Accept it. All of the haters are correct about Xenoblade Chronicles 2. Xenoblade 2 is not peak fiction. It's just a game about waifus and fan service and boobs. You cannot deny your instincts. Embrace your desire. Oh, it is Vivia. Yeah, that, that makes sense. It sounds a lot like him. Don't really get it. I'm listening. I'll pass. Yeah, like the whole the whole thought of this is really terrifying. Though it does just remind me of that quote from like um of from like Batman Beyond, where like Batman figures out that somebody's trying to mind control him by saying, "The voice in my head called me Bruce. In my head, that's not what I call myself." <laughs> Embrace the horny. <laughs> However, even getting through that is not going to stop us from anime tropes. Huh? We're getting slapped? <laughs> yeah, we're getting slapped. Ow. I can just picture Please. the inner voice comes back just to say, Ow. Can you two hear me? I'm sorry, I couldn't contact you sooner. I was in the shower for no reason. The shadow was interfering with your thoughts, so I couldn't reach you. Looks like you two got teleported away as well. The group's all been separated. The enemy is still in the same room. Let's regroup and then head back there. Yeah, it would kind of suck if you had a repel strike persona equip right now. Did you hear that, Yukari-chan? Yeah, I heard you. Um, did something happen? Yes. It's fine. Everything happened. Come on, let's go. Well, she even had a bow back there. And how about we don't mention this to anyone? Got it? Yeah, Kenji and Junpei would go insane if they knew about this. Oh yeah, it would be amazing if you had one less HP after that scene. <laughs> kind of wish they did that. Uh, it's not possible to be in a relationship with Yukari. You can't start her social link until after the beach trip. Like, her social link is not available at this point. You could not be romancing her now even if you wanted to. <sighs> Second floor, huh? I believe you meet up with Akihiko there. And we're still down some SP, okay. Now, I can't quite remember the exact, like, answer to this next puzzle. So don't backseat me in the chat if I take a while to figure it out. Yeah. 
Hey, Junpei. Uh, Hierophant was fine. Really, it's just like damage sponge, hit it and heal, and that's all. Uh, we're fine. Nothing happened at all. Nope, nope, nothing at all. Nope. Didn't the original imply that, um, uh, that Akihiko and Mitsuru went through that same thing? Okay, 204 and 205. Okay, maybe it's more obvious in this version. Huh, I think that might have taken out the Akihiko and Mitsuru moment. <laughs> yes, somebody was against the door. Okay, they are marking the rooms. Maybe this puzzle is simpler in this version. Something with Junpei and redheads, yeah. Yeah, this room does not look healthy. Looks like a bathroom. Oh, there's no coffins in here. Oh, it's only if you bring both of them? Okay, yeah. Why is there a hand-shaped pink spot on your cheek? No, 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 question that. It's fine. Nothing happened. Oh, okay, so there is the thing with Akihiko. Oh, hey. Soul refresh. Oh, probably a thing. That's just one person, right? Yeah, that's just one person. I know that, like, I think there was a... Hmm... So there's a reflection in this mirror. I want to check the other mirror, because there might be, like, no reflection. Uh, like, I mean, I don't know, like, uh, like, I kind of... I'm kind of okay with Yukari slapping there, just because, like, you know, she couldn't really... Ah, oh, yeah, I think I figured it out. There's no reflection here. There's no reflection in this one. Yeah, I think that's the puzzle. Um, so we're vampires. Um, but anyway, I'm gonna try the other one first. I think, I think you get warped back, and I think it's implied that the same thing happens to you again. Oh, new fangirl, you had a funeral. That's, well, I hope it went okay, but, uh, yeah, good to sleep. You miss one boss, though, admittedly. Oh, okay, we have to check both the mirrors, right. Yeah, that person probably did get rejected. And they had to stay in the hotel room they paid for. When will my reflection show? Yep. Yep. That's a, that's a generally good song from Milan, but yeah. I see ghosts in this one. Okay, so it's straight up spelling it out to you. Yeah. I don't know how I feel about them making the puzzle this easier. Okay, I guess we'll break this one. Seven years bad luck, apparently. Okay, now we have free freedom on the next floor. Okay, good to know. And now everyone is singing that song from Milan. So while we're here, I wanted to give a bit of a random tangent that I've wanted to give in a video for a while. Uh, but I feel like it's appropriate here. So it's... Don't freak out, but it's vaguely related. Also, there were shadows here originally. There aren't any shadows here in this version, I don't think. That's kind of interesting. But but no. Um, so it relates to shipping fanfiction. But don't, don't like freak out or anything. But like, okay. So... I don't know who else feels this way, but this is just something that I've always felt. Um, also, yep, there's a uh, there's two coffins in an interesting position. Honestly. Uh, 97 years old, great grandmother. That's um, that's cool. Well, okay, that one has reflections in it. So, this is my personal thing with like I feel like if you're writing, oh wow, well, yeah, seven years indeed in spin-off hell. But if you're writing a shipping fan fiction, I personally think it's good practice 
to only include one ship in it. Don't include more than one. Hmm. Because, like, by their very nature, um, shipping fanfics are, like, pretty niche. Okay, yeah, this... Oh, no, this, there's reflections in that one. Um, like, they're only going to appeal to people who are fans of that particular ship. And so the more ships that you include in your fanfic, the less likely it is to appeal to people, because it's, it's like someone might like one of those pairings, but the chance of them liking all of them... Yeah, that's the 3-1. Yeah, there you go. Somebody liking all those pairings at the same time is less likely. So, that's what I've always kind of felt like. The, the, this mostly comes from a place of, um, I cannot find any good Robin and Pan fanfics for Fire Emblem Awakening that don't also ship, like, five other things that I don't like. All right. Because even if they're pairings that you might think go together, obviously, not everyone is going to agree with that. So I still feel like it's generally best to only include one. But that's just me. I don't know how other people feel. Okay, barrier is down. And that means I... Let's see, uh... Yeah, I don't even have Akihiko here at all. Oh, for some reason I have a Soma. Probably should save that for an emergency. I mean, background pairings is fine. I, like, the problem is, like, I once found a Kanji Naoto fic that had, like, a background you and Yosuke, and I wasn't really into that, so... Sometimes even background ships are a little bit... I don't know. But okay, then. I guess we have to go into this. Yeah, unless it's, like, a double date. I agree. So it was you, so it was you giant floating spiked heart with jelly. Yes, of course, the fake mirror is in the three coffin room. Unforgivable. I'll never forgive you for that! And yes, Yukari, I, I got spoiled in this, but Yukari gets max theurgy for this fight. So, yeah, it's time for lovers, and that means it's time for lots of charm. Lots and lots and lots of charm. And I used a few of my May Patrick gems last time. So this might be a problem. Yeah, of course, the three coffin bed is on the right path. Is on the, like, plot required path. Yet, Yukari angry fire against her own arcana. Uh, what do I got here that I could use? Uh, something tells me that I actually did have, like, uh, get to A at this point in my original playthrough. Oh, you resist Pierce. Oh, it makes sense that you resist Pierce. Uh, I guess we could maybe get mega buffs. <laughs> the fanfic shadow. Come on, mega buffs. Come on, mega buffs. Okay, there we go, mega buffs. Oh, and now you have max theurgy, but I wanted to debuff it. Luna Amethyst, I don't think that you and Naoto is rare. That used to be, like, hugely popular earlier in the, like, fandom. It kind of died down later, but it was insanely popular early on. Oh, yeah, I did have... Ow. The enemy's charmed you. Please, we're on your side. Of course you charm them on the max theurgy. Oh, no! That's massive charm damage, damage to people who charmed. Well... Uh, yeah, um, don't worry, people are gonna get up, they don't worry, um, I'm gonna bomb of life you. That crit just kinda sucks. Uh, 
I'm a multi-shipper for some things. I'm a multi-shipper for, like, protagonists of P3, because I, I like Fuka, Elizabeth, and that. But for a lot of characters in, like, other media, I'm not really a multi-shipper. Like, there's really, like, only one thing that I ship someone with. Oh, of course, it resists both of the, of the guys' elements. <laughs> I mean, totally nulls Junpei's. Let's then see... I wonder if it's got a soft weakness to Bufu. I wouldn't be surprised if it had a soft weakness to Bufu. It's not instant death when charm, but it is very high damage, it seems like. It did like 150. Also, it looks very much like this thing may have a soft weakness to ice, because I was definitely not doing 150 damage to the other one with, with Buffalo. So it does feel like this thing might have a soft weakness to ice. Uh... Oh no, I'm doing a lot of damage there. Oh great. Um... Why do you hate Mitsuru today? Why do you hate Mitsuru? Oh yeah, we are attack boosted. Makes sense. I should have used the Urgy. Okay, uh, right then. I'm gonna ruck into you again. I meant to say, like, Yukari and Elizabeth and the protagonist from P3. Like, yeah. Love is going next. Um, just in case it does something bad, let's heal you. Oh, you... Oh, wow, really? Really? Please tell me that was scripted. Hmm. Okay. Who's next? Oh, yeah. Apparently, Jack Bros can work. Let's try that. Okay, good. Uh, I guess we can try this. Oh, it only does it once? Yeah, I understand being freaked out at seeing that deer. Uh... Oh, of course, my attack reverts before I get to use my Theurgy. Uh... I'm gonna go for it anyway. <laughs> oh, that sucks. Please be careful. That mist can hypnotize you. I have to do this. Uh, I still debuffed, yeah. Yes, I, I kind of like how sometimes you do want to heal little tiny bits of HP with Yukari, because that gets her Theogy more up. No, your defense is still going. Oh, it's resistant to zero, so can't really do that. Oh, I, I'm null fire. That's actually going to be really good for this. <laughs> the horny mist. Sadly, very true. Uh, okay, now I will Theurgy you in the face. Oh, okay, now I see the Jiggle Physics. Of course I noticed the Jiggle Physics in this arc. Uh, okay. Ja oh, he's buffed on everything still, huh? I mean, I guess I can keep the defense buff going. I mean, on... Oh, that's bad. Oh. Well, at least that was just Dia. Not anything worse. Uh, Mitsuru's next. I have a lot of discharms. Yes, the horny mist affected me as well, sadly. So it's kind of higher fan all over again, but I don't actually have a whole lot of his charms left. 
Okay, Soul Refresh is a cure for everything, though. Yeah, final boss PTSD. Well, at least that's not going to hurt a lot, hopefully. Wow, that's an all-targeting move, though. Yikes. Yeah, it's a good thing Mitsuru doesn't have healing anymore, I agree. Um, a ship that I used to like but don't anymore? Um... Funny story, that used to be Sonic and Amy and Sonic, but I'm back to liking it now, thanks to Ian Flynn. Um, but, uh, Kanji and Naoto? Sort of? I go back and forth on whether I like it or not. Like, it just, now it feels a bit too one-sided to me. Like, there are times when I like it and times when I don't. Okay then, let's see, uh... Oh, Akiko and Mitsuru, definitely. Akiko and Mitsuru, that's absolutely one that I used to ship but I don't need more. I f totally forgot about that one. Um... I feel like there was something in Fire Emblem that I used to ship but don't anymore, but I don't know about that. Yeah. Um... There, there was something in Fire Emblem, I feel like, but... Anyway. Please don't heal again. Okay, there's Akudine. Uh, that's gonna be... Thank you! Wait, I'm... How am I... I thought I was on Null Fire! I, think I, can use it I thought I was on Null Fire! I I thought that I was on Null Fire. Huh, that's weird. Okay, well, I need to heal anyway. I mean, the only Persona team member ship that I, um... Oh, I still love Lapis and Alcarus. Like, I am completely down. It is, like, the only thing in Fire Emblem Engage that I ship. Um, but, um... Uh, he yes, Henry and Olivia, yeah, that's one. I used- I don't like that anymore. Um, yeah, it's- it's- I- I used to like that, but I don't really. Oh, well, I was on a high pixie. I was not on Waffle. That's why. Okay, I'm dumb. I, I was like, oh, I'm on high pixie, aren't I? No, I'm- I'm, I'm on Waffle. But yeah, no, let's go Waffle. I, to be honest, uh, Gamer Zoro, um, so funny thing about you saying that Archie Comics completely destroyed your interest in romance in Sonic, so, um, <laughs> I was looking at the, um, <laughs> I was looking at the wiki page for Archie Comics Sonic, and, and in the relationship section, I was reading that, and I was like, oh god, oh no, oh no, <laughs> besides Sally and Amy, there's, like, five other characters who romance Sonic in that comic, I'm like, no, no, why? What are you doing? I mean, I, I admit, like, it's Archie comics, so, like, it's the origin of Betty and Veronica, so, like, it kind of makes sense. Really? Everyone got charmed again? I, I would... Yes. Thank you, Yukari, for shooting me in the face. Um, instead of healing the boss. That's way better. Uh, but unfortunately, I'm a little not good right now because... Ah, stupid charm. Oh yeah, if you wanna if you wanna lose your mind, look up Archie look up look up the uh Archie Sonic on Wikis. Yeah. It's it's weird. Um Tails also had like a bajillion love interest for some reason. And like one of them betrayed him. It's it's weird. Yeah. Hmm. Anyway, uh Junpei's next, right? Uh, I like Luigi and Daisy. It's not, it's not like, it's not like there's much to it because neither of them really talk much. But like, yeah. I think Luigi and Daisy is at least a little more interesting than, yeah, there's a very good reason why Sega is banned romance, yeah. Uh, oh, that's not good. Ugh, wow. This is going kind of bad, actually. Um, right then. Uh, oh, of course I have Oracle ready. And I have Theurgy, and I have... Okay, right, uh, Theo G. Right. Oh, was Knuckle- oh yeah, no, Knuckles was just as bad, wasn't he? Yeah, he had a whole lot of other things. Uh, uh, no, no, I'm getting lucky with Gary Stu, I think. I think I'm getting lucky. Probably getting lucky. Oh, Junpei still charmed. Whoops, Jinpei's still charmed. And I'm out of charm cures now.
You know what? I, I want a Mario and Luigi game with Wario and Waluigi in it. That would be really cool. But okay, uh... I probably should have taken Akihiko to this boss, not Mitsuru, but I'm, it's too late now. And you're going again. So we're getting to a boss. I'm dreading uh, this guy's turns. I'm dreading all of his turns. At least that's not terrible when nobody's charmed. But still. Yeah, the funny thing about Bunny and Antoine is that um, technically that's still a thing, even in IDW. They have two nameless, uh, nameless, like, uh, like a rabbit and like a guy, nameless people who are implied to be the alternate universe versions of Bunny and Antoine. And it's still canon. So, like, that actually transcended the reboot somehow. Anyway. Uh, it does. Oh, it's, okay. Defense is still down. Uh, I believe. Oh, you've got Resist Charm, but um, you haven't learned it yet. Okay, I have Medea on High Pixie. No, I do not want a Sonic the Hedgehog TV show in the style of Riverdale. Oh, I have Oracle now. I want to debuff you, actually. I mean, I've got it down to below half. If I keep this up, I just don't want it to... I, I really don't want it to... Oh, the mist is still here. I'm pretty sure the mist is permanent, actually. No, the IDW comics are actually very good. Um, I've only read a little bit of them, but, like, it's also better to get into them now because, like, you don't have the, like... For example, you can just get the whole Metal Virus arc without having to wait for, like, issues to come out individually. Um... See, I don't want a Riverdale style anything. I've heard things about Riverdale and it sounds like the weirdest thing in the world. Mm. So I feel like I would ship Sonic and Blaze if... Oh god, no. 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 Of course, of course you charm the guy with a the Theurgy. Uh, this is bad. This is bad. This is bad. Patra, um... But, like, I feel like I'd ship that if I, um, if I start with Rush, but I didn't. I start with Adventure 2, and in Adventure 2, Sonic and Amy's dynamic is actually pretty good. Um, like in Adventure 2. What is Riverdale? You don't want to know. You do not want to know. It, like, it ships Archie with a teacher, and that's, like, the, w the least weird thing about it. Uh, let's get rid of your charm. Yeah, thank you, Tanaka. Tanaka's coming in clutch here with the chocolate. Tanaka absolutely coming in clutch. Um... Oh, I have a Theurgy. Why am I, why am I using my Theurgy? Okay. Uh... That's fine. Wow, that does way less damage if you resist it. Okay. Uh, I kind of want to Sukunda you. So, like, what is CW, by the way? I keep hearing about CW shows. What is CW? Oh, yeah, there's also Murder in Riverdale. I, 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 I like, to me, Riverdale sounds like it was made on drugs. I, I don't even know what the heck Riverdale even is, but it's certainly a thing that exists. Uh, does Waffle have anything good? I've got, I've got Korha. Oh, CW is a network. What does it stand for? That's what I meant. What does it stand for? Uh, I think the bosses kind of have bloated health. That is sort of an annoying thing about this game somewhat. Yeah, it's a network, but does CW stand for anything? You'd think it would. Uh, uh, health-wise, I think we're fine-ish now. <sighs> Again? Oh, thank you, Yukari. Thank you, Yukari. Yukari's like, I can't afford to be charmed right now. Thank you, Yukari. Um... Yeah, I know that people are talking about CW, but what do, what does it is it initials for something? Like, what does the C stand for? What does the W stand for? That's what I want to know. Uh, Junpei is charmed. Junpei is charmed. Junpei is still charmed, and I really want to kill you, but Junpei is still charmed. 
I don't know if Merciless boosts boss HP. I don't actually know that. Of course I have a Theurgy ready now. Do I Theurgy or do I cure Junpei? Oh, Central Broadcasting Station and Warner Brothers. Thank you. There we go. Sorry, that was bothering me way too much. Die, big fat heart of doom. Die. You know, I'm actually not too bothered by Junpei getting... Uh, if Junpei gets heartbroken right now... Please recover. Please recover. Nope. Okay. Oh, you suck. Uh, that's fine. That's fine. This is fine. Uh, let's cure you. Oh, lower damage. Yeah, that would explain it. Yeah, you do less damage. Okay. It's defense went back to neutral, though, so... I don't even think I need to rock under it, but that could be... I could be wrong. <laughs> God damn it, Junpei. For once, Junpei is not being MVP in a boss fight. He's... He's, he had his moment in the sun. He had his moment in the sun, and now it is... It is the sun is setting. But it will come back one day. Now is only the night of Junpei. Soon it will be the day of Junpei once more. Uh, Junpei... Oh, Yukari's not doing well right now. I need to heal her. I don't want to risk Yukari going down again. Yeah, that's not the worst thing in the world. Oh, of course, Junpei dodged it anyway. Ah, uh, I would have loved to finish this with Yukari sh with the Showtime. Sorry, Force of Habit with Yukari's Theurgy. Of course, now she has the Theurgy. Uh, like if I crit somehow, I could, I could, I could almost hit Baton Pass again. Force of Habit. I could shift to Yukari and use the Theurgy, but no. But no. Yeah, I mean, admittedly, it kind of serves Junpei right for being excited about the Love Hotel. It's kind of karma. Oh, but wait, I take it back! Junpei is still the MVP! Junpei proved me wrong! <laughs> I'm never doubting Junpei ever again. That's getting highlighted for sure. That's getting highlighted. I'm gonna highlight that definitely. <laughs> oh, Junpei continues to be amazing. <laughs> Junpei's like, wait, what were you saying about me falling behind? <laughs> oh, Junpei. Oh, hey, what does that do? Oh, that's cool. Okay, that's probably a pre-boss thing. Shock noise. Oh, that's cool. The man heard me talking smack. And now... I'm glad you're all safe. Let us never speak of that again. Excellent work. The enemy was clever, but you came out on top. Thank you. You did good too, Takeba. It's no wonder you volunteered. Uh, yeah. <laughs> right. And you as well. You were able to remain calm during the enemy's mental assault. <laughs> yes! Yes, we were! We totally remained calm. Maybe you're finally starting to recognize yourself as a leader. Keep up the good work. And this is going to be really unfitting. Because, like, this is, this is the point where Junpei, like, um... Uh, gets into his resentment arc. But he was just the MVP there, so this is going to not make much sense. Oh well, gameplay and story segregation. Rank four. All right, let's call it a night. Silphid aura only boosts defense and agility. Yeah, that yeah makes sense. <laughs> yeah, if we told Ikutsuki, he's gonna be like, he's gonna be like, oh, well, I guess, I guess that battle was quite the heartbreaker. I'm sure it was. Anyway, I can't do puns. You mentioned the other day. You found something? I yes. Yes, I found out that Mitsuru is sus. We'll talk about this another day, but she's definitely sus and might be the imposter. Okay, tell me about it later. Alright, we should.
should head back too. Oh, that is true. He did his best. He won the fight, and he's still being ignored. That makes sense. Hey, come on, Junpei, let's go. Fuka played a big role in this one again. Seems like the second years are really putting in the work. Looks like you're really shining out there, dude. Really now. Well, whatever, I guess. Don't tell me you're jealous someone else is getting all the attention. Yeah, I think in the original he said, like, so you're the hero again. Shut up. What's his problem? A lot of things. But you're not really one to talk. From now on, being single is no longer an advantage. Isn't there a- yeah, it is, there is, okay. That was faster than I expected. <laughs> really? That boss fight took forever. Quite a show, I must admit. They've been rather busy these last few months, haven't they? And it seems they've gained new recruits, too. Their fighting style is most fascinating. Not to mention they've made several forays into the tower. Well, Jin, are they our enemy? How about we go ask our buddy? Gonna be seeing him real soon. Ah, yes. An excellent idea. Considering that he shares our fate, it would be prudent to seek his opinion. After all, we don't have much time left. Well, I guess maybe someone else is an imposter. Yeah, they do this villains observing from a distance thing quite a lot in this game. Yeah, I'm, I'm so glad because... I said this last time, but in the original, Takaya was voiced by the same voice actor as Shinjiro, and he barely sounded different. Not Takaya, um, Jin. Jin was voiced by the same person as Shinjiro, and he barely sounded different at all. It was really lame. Oh wow, we've got summer vacation coming up. Oh, that means a lot of our school social is going to be off the camera. Off the camera, what? Off the grid, I guess? Off the camera, what? I guess I'm getting a bit tired now. And finals. Well, I hope I have enough academics to do well in these exams. Hmm. Um, okay, so here's something I'm gonna just say. So, right, um, this is where I'm gonna be okay with backseating for a little bit. So, after exams are over, do we get hijacked by plot immediately? Like, I mean, the island thing. Like, do, does that, when does the island thing happen, date-wise? Because I don't want to, I, I want to end the stream before that happens, because otherwise it would just go on way too long. Comma splices, oh no. So, in my school, they only taught us literature analysis, they did not teach us, like, actual English grammar. Two independent clauses are incorrectly joined by a comma instead of a conjunction. And yes, Takaya does have the worst gun safety of all time. Uh, it's fine if a um, new fan girl, if you duck out of a stream early, especially with what you had. But it was good to see the lovers fight. Because it is 10:30 right now, comma, we will not reach the theater in time, comma. It's already started, comma. Much to my to my dismay. Okay, comma splice. Hmm. Yakushima is July 20th. Okay, that's closer than I thought. Two independent clauses are incorrectly joined by a comma instead of a conjunction. So like an and or a but, okay. Because it's because it's 10.30 right now, we will not be able to reach the theater in time. I think it's between time and it's. I want to say it's between time and it's. If I get this wrong, I'm a disgrace because I like to think that I'm good at English. Like, there really should be a full stop there. Bingo. Hey, there we go.
we go. I was right. Good. I'm not a disgrace to my my study background. Like, it does feel a little wrong. Like, that comma there. Okay, we are at five on charm. It's just usually when you look at a sentence like that and you just think, oh yeah, that's probably it. So, so I'm probably going to be streaming for one more hour. I don't expect anything like huge to happen until, although we might get that Mitsuru cutscene with Fuku confronts. Okay, so, oh right. I probably need to stop before exams because yeah, then that stuff is going to happen. So yeah, I've got to... Also, because it is exams, comma, social links aren't available. Many social links are not available. Which is why, comma, I saved Hanged Man, comma. Which was good, comma. Um, Bunkichi and Mitsuko, Nozomi, or Maiko. I was kind of going to go for Maiko, but I don't think I have a Hanged Man persona. Just the, the saying comma all the time just reminded me of, um, there's a, there's a line from, like, one of the, the Swan Princess movies, which were a weird guilty pleasure to me when I was younger, um, um, where, like, the villains, like, tries to kidnap someone, and they, they write a letter, and for reasons, they write the letter using, like, their bird familiar as, like, the quill, they, like, grab him and start writing the letter with him which is interesting, um, but, but they're like, I have kidnapped your sweet Odette, comma, if you want to see her alive again, comma, <laughs> meet me, blah, 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 exclamation, exclamation, exclamation. I don't know why, it's just something from my childhood that I always remember. Uh, anyway. Please take a look. There's Hanged Man, um... Sometimes I feel like non-native English speakers are actually better, uh... at English grammar, because, you know, they actually teach you the grammar. Okay, I'm level 26, can I do any more fusions? Shall we take a look? I can make Legion! No, thank you! Doesn't Legion get sexy dance in this game? I think it does. Uh, wait. Mitsuru makes you summer school right before Yakushima. Oh no, it actually happens after Koromaru joins. Okay, yeah. Because I'm pretty sure it's Aegis next and then Koromaru. Seeing what personas come to be is a great joy of mine. And I think I'm not going to go for any fusions right now. <clears throat> the sexy, the dance of the sexy faces. Which weirdly makes me think of Yokai Watch. Like, there's a Yokai in that that's like a dog with a human face, and then its evolved form is called like Ikemen Ken, which is like hot guy dog in Japanese, and its face is like like a, a Bishonen, and it charms everyone. Yeah. Uh, I don't think there are any time requests before exams. I think I've done all the time. Like, Elizabeth hasn't called us to talk about the next, um, Tartarus block, so... Oh, also I haven't saved. Command room. Other M flashbacks. Did this Adam care for you? Would he sit in a command room and order you to die? Actual quote from Metroid Fusion, predicting the plot of Other M. Yeah, I think that Yokai's English name is Dan Doodle, which I think also is a good translation. Have you seen Stripey? Stri oh, oh, it's Sun, it's Sun. You were playing tag, but I don't know where you went. Also, that is totally a sandy gas in that sand pit. Please stay away from it. You could tell. Huh? You really I knew you met him through my call, but I didn't know it was this soon. <laughs> no, I was kidding. You're so easy, Maiko. No, fair, I trusted you. Don't 
tease me just because I'm a kid. And who are you? Ah, so you're the one she was talking about. I was wondering what you were like. Do you see yourself as her guardian? Or are you simply two children playing together? Hey! I'm hungry now! I want takoyaki! Takoyaki! I actually do like Michael's voice. You can eat with us too, Stripey. No, I'll pass, thanks. See you later. Yeah, pretty sure it always ranks up. Yeah, Lucy, it would be Lucian Doge, wouldn't it? Also, I think he plays the rival in, in Pokemon. I, pass by on the way to cram school. I hate that somebody her age goes to cram school, but it's sadly true in Japan. Okay, it's takoyaki time. Yeah, Lucian Doge has a lot of range. Like, Elliot sounds very different to Felix or Akinari. in his mouth at once. It is funny because my dad is a horrible person. He was like, oh. Dad hasn't been coming home much these days. It's my birthday soon. Do you think he'll come home and see me? <laughs> no, he won't. He'll forget it. Oh, I mean, I can see him as Leon in Fire Emblem Echoes. I don't think that's too different from his other voices. My mom always gives me presents on my birthday. Yeah, I don't know how old Akinari is. I want to say that he's young at all. Like, I don't want to say that he's school age. She hasn't asked me what I want this year yet. Uh, if they really loved me, they wouldn't get a divorce. I still feel like it's worse to put a child through you being not not working as a couple than it is to divorce, but still. You're the only one who spends time with me. Akinari's like 19. Yeah, I can see that. That that would make sense. And depressing music. Three. Today's laundry day. If I don't do laundry, the house gets really messy. See you later, okay? Oh, uh, that feel when all your parents suck at cleaning. I may or may not relate to that a lot. Yeah, Akiko's Ak Ak not Akiko, Akinari's 19. Yeah, yeah, that would make Welcome sense. Back. So I was right about my estimate, like a very young adult. Yeah, staying together as a toxic couple is worse than divorce. That's what I always, I've always felt. Like, I've always thought that it's better to be single than to be in a toxic relationship. <laughs> oh no, oh no, oh no, they're, they're on to us. They realize we broke all the mirrors. Oh no. <laughs> ah. Oh. Whoops. Um, we stole a couple of things that helped us kill the boss, so um, I guess it's fine. And now Junpei hates us. Games. Uh, like what vending machine would have a drink that I haven't given Elizabeth yet? Yes, indeed. They're on to us. <laughs> they're on to us. Run. I wonder if Kurosawa could put in a good word for us saying like, we, I, I have utmost faith they did this to save people's lives. Yeah, I wonder if that does change if you didn't take- They said multiple rooms though, and I only got an item in one room. <laughs> There's a, a Yonkoma manga where Junpei and the MC draw on the coffins and the people wake up with graffiti faces. That's amazing. Uh, Port Island, okay. 
think I did? Oh, uh, that's the wrong thing. <laughs> yeah, it was Strager. It was totally Strager. We don't even know they exist at this point, though, so we can't blame them. Uh, oh, I guess I could try Iwatodai Station. Yes, when in doubt, blame Revolver Jesus. I still, I don't like calling him that because in high school I watched a documentary that tried to reconstruct what Jesus' face would have actually looked like, and he does not look like that. He would not have looked like that. Like, he would have looked Middle Eastern. So, yeah. Anyway, uh, I've got all these already. Uh, four comma or yon comma is like a, um, um, four panel Japanese manga. Usually it follows a particular structure that's also used for Super Mario Brothers level design, as weird as that sounds, where the first panel sets things up, the second panel, like, kind of builds on it, the third panel is a twist, and then the fourth panel is the punchline. I'm examining this because, um, uh, this looks exactly like the, uh, Yogi Park in Nocturne, the construction there. Oh, I guess I will buy the SP drinks. I'm just thinking about what, what Mitsuru needs. Elizabeth. Well, same VA originally. Yeah, Europeanized Jesus. That's why I don't like, um, I don't like, yeah, doing that. Because, like, the, the Jesus that looks like that is the European version, which kind of is, yeah, it would be whitewashing. But anyway, um, Yeah, it might have been based on some Italian guy one of the painters uses as a model. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised. Oh, somebody's seen that documentary. Yeah, I, I think it's fairly... Like, it was a... Like, basically, we were watching it around the time of, um... Uh... Of, um, the Da Vinci Code, because, like... Like, that was peak Da Vinci Code time, like, in the 2000s, and... Everyone just loved poking fun at all the problems with Da Vinci Code. Huh. Wait, was that really Cesare Borgia? The guy from Assassin's Creed who's apparently awful? Yeah, there's a there's a Chinese Virgin Mary painting in Notre Dame that I saw. But anyway. 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 Echoing what I was saying, um. Yes, the explosion 10 years ago that definitely wasn't relevant to anything in this plot at all. It's like, in a story, it's just like, anytime somebody brings up the incident X years ago, it's always relevant, especially in Ace Attorney. But even in other things. No, there couldn't possibly be a dark side to Gekukana High. What are you talking about? There's no literal dark side of Gekukana High that appears every every midnight. Yeah, Louis RPG, that's fine Let's if you have to go. This Abolished Imperial Embassy in China. Huh, that sounds a little not good. Anyway, on to feudalism. <laughs> Permitting ownership of newly cultivated land serves as a foundation. Hmm. Serious problem arose for the farmers. Problems with feudalism, huh? Um. Uh, see, okay. Last time. Last time I overthought things. My, my first thing is this. But, like, I also want to say this, like, ah. Yes, hey, I was right, I didn't overthink things. <laughs> okay, you know, it's interesting, you don't, you don't often see, um, like, um, you don't often see, like, because oftentimes when people talk about, like, class wealth inequality in feudalism, it's always nobles versus commoners. They never really talk about, like, commoners and other commoners. Like, that kind of discrepancy. That's interesting. I'd like to see that explored more in things. Because it's just like, ah, uh, like, like, I don't know. It's, it's just, I, 
I, I, I don't like how so many, like, so many medieval fantasy RPGs these days, or medieval fantasy media in general. It's probably just a, just a, just a thing about, like, you know, uh, Michael's not available. Uh, it's probably just a thing regarding, like, Game of Thrones influence, but how so many of them are just going about, oh, monarchy bad, feudalism bad, we live in a society, blah, 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 and I'm just like, it just, it's fantasy, it's not supposed to be that. Just, just give me cool dragons and knights and stuff, that's what I want. Here are my requests. Okay, here we go. Uh, I think Fuka has the Christmas star? I will await a report of success. Something you find from the ocean, okay, well... Oh, I remember Feed the Cat! Yeah, I remember this one. Max safety shoes, defeat rare shadow number one. Create a persona with torrent... Sh uh, apparently I don't have a persona with torrent shot. Very well. But anyway, yes, cats. We must. We must have cat. What do you got? Uh, don't have. Okay. So how about this? Uh, footwear. Do you have max safety shoes? Mechanical. I, I remember the mechanical getter. I think I had those on Igus for ages because of the electricity evasion. But I will probably take that on Yukari. Everything looks pretty great. It's all yours. Yes, Elizabeth can randomly sense that a, um, uh, that a cat is, um, is hungry. Yeah. Doesn't look like they sell the thing that she wants. Yeah, I, I kind of agree, like, morally the system's maybe bad, but the vibes, like, it's just, it's, it's also like that how I, it just kind of brings up how I, how I really like, um, uh, Age of, like, I grew up with Age of Empires 2, I just really like knights and castles and all that, so, yeah. Oh, wait, no, yeah, I guess does have unique armor, doesn't she? Weak cat, no! Oh, uh, yeah, I knew I, I knew I had bought this for a reason. Oh, I have to feed it again, okay. Makes sense. But yeah, I like that Elizabeth cares about local animals. I, I also like that, you know, because in spin-offs, she's completely heartless towards her brother. So, uh, yeah. Yeah, that's, that's true. Adore benevolent monarchies in fiction and only in fiction. Like, that's true. Like, again, it's just a difference between, like, fiction and reality. Um, I w no, I wanted to buy more cat food, and somehow I ended up talking to Elizabeth instead. I guess my shipping biases are showing part of them. <sighs> Must get more cat food. Where is... here we go. Uh, I'm gonna get multiple of them. I'm pretty sure there's a sequel to Feed the Cat, or I could just be thinking about Persona 4. Because I know that Persona 4, um, originally, like, Persona 4 has, like, one quest where you either feed the cat, like, 20 times, or you feed it two guardians. Oh, she makes mention of her brother if you idle on the request screen. That's cool. Okay, I do not root for the Empire in Star Wars. I definitely draw the line at that. Uh, oh, am I going to have to do Moon? Am I going to have to do Moon? Do I have Hierophant? Yeah, there's that cat that wants two. I don't think it actually wants two Guardians. Um, I think it's like, it's like you... Uh, like, you can either feed it 20 regular fish or two Guardians. You can't even fish in for guardians in this Welcome game, so there's no the way that that's room. possible. Uh, let's go get myself uh, a Hierophant this persona. So because I don't want to do Nozomi. <laughs> we look 
I may have to do moon. Huh. I mean, I'm gonna have to do moon eventually. But I think... Like, Hierophant's available. Unless this is one of those ranks where, you know... Yeah, I, I love how the Max Social Link guide is like, Fishing, need at least two guardians. No zombie, that's great. Oh my, dear. There's a mistake there. That's not how you write, Gekokon. I know, I know. I hardly ever write it, so I just forgot how it looked for a second. I feel a little bad for all the people who've been campaigning to save the tree. Oh! Huh, speak of the devil! Uh, I'm writing a letter. Something I haven't done in ages. Why, is that surprising? I'm actually quite the net surfer, you know. Oh, oh no, no, don't look. Oh, I'm shy. <laughs> we'll tell you when the time is right. Are you curious about the letter? Excited, perhaps? Even exhilarated? <laughs> hard to. We spend every day looking forward to the chance of seeing you again. Sometimes you even make me feel smarter. Maybe I should just go back to school. Ah, just kidding. Might have to accept the request to feel the ocean. Yeah, I can do that tomorrow. Ironic that a lunar themed game has Moon as the worst ocean. Oh wait, it's rank 9! Okay! That said, uh, I hope we can wrap up the matter before your next vision. So let's figure out how to spell things. Yeah, the thing about that is like, I've often had moments where I look at a word and I keep looking at the word and it just starts to look wrong, even though it's correctly spelled. Oh, it's you. Uh, final start Monday, next Monday. Yeah, that's fine, okay. Yeah, I did a, I did a bit too much moon. Oh, we have study sessions. Uh, apparently these are great. Oh yeah, I've heard Nato is kind of like Vegemite in Australia, which I've never had. Oh yeah, moon is amazing in FEMC, rude. Okay, I guess I could do a study session. I could probably do a study session. Yo. <laughs> In that case, well, I guess I can do Let's this. See. I was hoping to go for another run after rehydrating. I believe you've done enough physical activity for one day. Any more and you'll hurt yourself. Fine. So, were there any subjects you needed help with? Oh no. This is so relatable. <laughs> this is so relatable, no. Uh, the most basic method is writing them over and over again. Uh, I hate that. Uh, I, that's a tough way to I have like four books about kanji, like like writing kanji and um like 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 kanji's memorization. I am still bad at it. That's why I reward myself with workout reps based on the number of new kanji I've learned. Oh, that's interesting. The more you study, the stronger you'll get. Pretty motivating, huh? Oh, that's actually not a bad idea. Huh. In any case. I advise having a good workout ready to treat yourself with after a study session. It all comes down to making it a regular habit. Just a little each day really adds up. I wasn't going to say anything, but... 
Hihiko, working out isn't normally a reward for most people. On top of that, what good does it do to preach about long-term habits mere days before the exam? Hmm, I guess you have a point. In that case, how would you recommend cramming for it? I'm sure Mitsuru's methods would be torture. It's not my usual style, but I would focus on memorizing material that is likely to be tested. If you give it your all, it shouldn't be too difficult. Easier than facing the enemy wholly unprepared, at least. I used to do past exam papers. Like, I'd look at past exam papers and, like, do them. I felt like that usually worked. Well, we can talk all night. But doing is where the magic happens. Here, let me give you some practice problems. Okay, double note towards academics. Still not up though. You catch on quick. You immediately took what you learned and put it into practice. All you need now is some strength training and you'll be unstoppable. Once the exams are over, why don't we dive into Tartarus for a bit and get some workouts in? <laughs> Never change. I'll need to continue keeping an eye on you to make sure you don't overdo it. <laughs> the more you study and the more you train, the better results you'll get. I look forward to seeing what you'll accomplish from here on. Let's call it here for today. I want to get some stretches in before heading to bed. I do think it would be amazing if Nozomi, like, had, like, if confidant bonuses from Persona 5 were a thing in this game, and Nozomi actually gave, like, the best bonuses in the game. That would be great. Let's get on with today's lesson. I know Uriel, but I don't recognize the other names there. Oh, that's funny. I was just talking about medieval Europe. Oh yeah, this, which video games love referencing, because all of Mementos in Persona 5 is a reference to Kabbalah. I believe Sephiroth gets his name from the Kabbalah. And hey, Narcissism, yeah, this thing. The thing that Japanese media loves for some reason. I guess it's just, because like, you know, Yaldabaal slash the Demiurge is like the go-to, like, evil god that you can just pull from and use in anything. Yeah, Greece feels a little bit more, like, philosophical on that kind of end. Oh, I'd like to look more into that, actually. Oh, Guardian Angel, okay, yeah. That's kind of interesting because, like, the whole Guardian Angel thing is sort of where Personas originated in, in um, Shin Megami Tensei If, kind of. The whole guardian entities. Okay, then. Yeah, Tales of the Abyss is also a massive Kabbalah reference. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's explicitly avoiding using any Gnostic terms in an RPG you're making. That's honestly good. Like, like one of the things that I love about when I, I bring things full circle when I talk about Xenoblade. Like, one of the things that I really like about Xenoblade Chronicles Three is Xenoblade Chronicles Three is one of the rare JRPGs with absolutely zero religious symbolism at all. Like, like, there's no religious symbolism in that game in, in any way, which, which is kind of refreshing for a JRPG. Uh, yeah, that would be Kabbalah. Cool. But yeah, the sort of guardian angel thing, I think that is, like, kind of an inspiration for, like, the guardian demons you get in SMT If, which themselves inspired personas. Yeah, I'm not even really sure if 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 the if the iffy relationship with Judeo-Christian stuff in Japan is the reason why, because it's very much Gnosticism they pull from, and and it's just kind of like it's 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 weird that it's Gnosticism, and it's so common, and it's so specific parts of Gnosticism as well, and it's in everything. Like it's in Neo Genesis Evangelion, I think. It's in a lot of anime. It's in like um, Trails, because there's Gnosis. Okay, it looks like... Ah, they're not available to rank up. But I'm still... Am I not going to... 
Oh, uh, I can feed the cat again. Almost forgot to do that. That's good. Partially inspired by stands from JoJo. Yeah, yeah, I guess. But also they're a Carl Jung thing in general. So, so yeah. Must feed cat. Okay, yeah, one more day, I suppose. So... Do I Nozomi? Or do I... Try and go for a spend time with Bunkichi and Mitsuko? The Kabbalah tree thing is a Digimon in Digimon Frontiers. Honestly, that doesn't surprise me. Yeah, like, for some reason, Japan loves Kabbalah as well. Oh, what the heck? I'm gonna go for Bunkichi and Mitsuko. Yeah, similar to... Yeah, Western, Western RPGs do like Nordic inspiration. I, I just realised. A lot of Norse. Maybe a little bit of Greek. Oh, I thought you were going to say if you swirl the ramen around six times one way and six times the other way, you'll get a, ho a shiny ho -o. Remember all those rumours? If you feed a Bulbasaur a rare candy while holding your Game Boy upside down, it will evolve into Luigi! I, I knew somebody who used to pronounce Lugia, who thought Lugia was pronounced Luigi. Or specifically Luigi. Yeah, maybe, maybe uh, Gnostic stuff was translated a lot. We ready for a rank up? Oh, it didn't say grow stronger soon. I'm guessing it will take a little while because... The next is rank 10. Uh, yeah, then Inke happened. Oh, welcome back. Huh? Yep, Junpei is still sulking. Junpei is sulking. Uh, 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 Yukari is suspicious. Fuka is helping her suspicions. Yeah, now's not a great time for C's. Not a great time at all. A miraculous flower which only grows once every 100 years. Well, if this was, like, um, important, then it would probably be the only cure to a specific disease. Okay, so there's a study session here. I guess I could do this one. Oh, right, I need to get that. Mm. Oh. Yes, Incuritus. I love that name. Sorry. <laughs> oh, yeah, her room is basically a giant garden. But now we can go and turn that request into Elizabeth. Oh, and accept the ocean one, too, while we're at it. I need to find the lyrics to the new dorm theme somewhere. Yeah, the stream is winding down. I, I, I'm, I keep getting self-conscious of like, oh, maybe it's boring at the moment. But like, we're almost done. We're almost at the end. Are you accepting a request? In retrospect, Yu-Gi-Oh! is a wacky combination of Egyptian mythology, horror, shonen, and children's card games. Yes, it's very true. Very well, then. There's a beetle that comes out in Australia around Christmas time called the Christmas Beetle that looks pretty cool. Oh, I remember those. A shame. I will await a report Something of that success. feels like the ocean, huh? Oh, she does have the fourth old document, Very but she well. hasn't called to say a new block of Tartarus is open. Yeah, I know it's getting late. Uh, it's it's almost. It, we're, we're we're almost. I'm almost gonna stop. She has the after boss wind down. But we will study more. We, uh, hello, hello, hello. Can I actually press X on the right place? Uh huh. Yeah. your notes look so trendy. I kind of wasn't expecting that. Oh no, these are Natsuki chan's notes. She let me borrow them since I was out trapped in Tartarus. Hey, Natsuki gets more relevant in the remake. Mm -hmm. She sure is. 
in my time, it's only 3.44 p.m. That said, there's actually quite a bit missing from these notes. Oh, you're right. This part just has the equation and no answer. And this page is full of doodles. I, I know that, um, I know that you can take all the requests at once, but, like, you, you, you can just turn them in immediately when they're finished. Like, you don't need to take them in order to finish them. And this part... Is that a drool stain? Ah, uh, that's too much information. Hey, it may not be the best study material, but it's the thought that counts, right? Mm -hmm. I've been trying to think of a way to return the favor. Complete our notes. You mean like fill in all the parts she's missing? Oh, that sounds like a great idea. Uh, but it's going to be a lot of material. I wonder if I can finish it all. Then we'll help you out. It'll be a good review for us, too. <sighs> Thanks, you two. Here, let me see those notes. Oh. Yeah. I'm actually a day ahead of most of you time zone wise as well, except for the ones who's, who are after midnight. That one was okay, that wasn't my favourite of these study sessions, but it's alright. All done! It looks wonderful! <laughs> Natsuki chan's in for a real surprise when she sees this. She's gonna be who ruined my notes! I'm sure she will. Oh no. So, so, Falmosta mentioning never stood a ghost of a chance. So, I was watching some Sonic X lately. I'm sorry that it keeps coming back to Sonic. I, I promise I'll give my brain what tangent one day. But, um, um, and of course, in the King Boom Boo, Boo episode, <laughs> we almost, it's almost the end of the episode. They almost got through the whole episode without saying it. And then, of course, of course, at the end of it, somebody says, they didn't stand a ghost of a chance. I'm just like, why is four kids contractually obligated to say that in any ghost episode? I'll make sure to give Natsuki-chan the notes back tomorrow. Good night. I love how much you go bridge made fun of that in that episode as well. Although I still think my personal favorite, and this is actual four kids dialogue, is you don't stand a ghost of a chance against Kaiba, because this time he is a ghost. <laughs> Cause they not only make the pun, they also explain it. I also love how that character's canonical name, according to the Yu-Gi-Oh! wiki, is just Ghost Kaiba. No, the King Boom Boo episode is definitely dubbed. They cut out, um, uh, a few scenes, but it's definitely dubbed. Uh, thoughts on the- I, I haven't seen enough of the Sonic X anime as a whole to really judge it. It's- it's okay. Um, it clearly suffers from, like, I know a lot of people like Season 3, but like, you can tell the end of Season 2 was meant to be the finale, and so much character development and relationship development gets walked back on in 3, it's just kind of like, clearly 3 was meant to be the end. Oh, not 3, clearly the, clearly the end of Season 2 was meant to be the end. And then the, the adaptations are a little iffy, like, there's some parts of it that I think are cool, like for example, um, I like that Amy gets to watch Gamma die, like, that sounds weird, like, out of context. Yeah, Sonic karate chopping Amy in the neck to depossess her from Ghost, that's what got card. It's only a few seconds. Um, but like, um, so like, that's cool. And then on the other hand, in Adventure 2, the fake Emerald moment and Sonic's fake death is way less impactful in the anime than it is in the game. Like, they condense the entire second half of Adventure 2 into just one episode. Like, just one episode is Knuckles and Rouge's final fight, the fake Emerald incident, and Sonic vs. Shadow, and the start of Last Story. They kind of condensed a bit too much there. And also, for some reason, instead of being held at gunpoint, Amy is captured in a, in a giant claw, because that's, like, somehow less disturbing for kids or something like that. It's weird. 
Anyway, um... So, theory that Tyra no Masakado uh, thought of the prototype for an item essential to battle. What was that item? Uh... Oh... Because I know that real samurai use rifles a lot. Like, like real, real samurai did use rifles. Um... But I, I want to say it was Nobunaga who introduced rifles. But something every samurai needs. That sounds like a katana to me. But I could be wrong here. Yes, exactly. Yeah, like Mr. Ono would think a katana is, is what the samurai needs. Yeah. There's apparently a lot of controversy of whether, whether katanas really actually like... um. Um, a strong or anything like that. Yeah, this is a weave teacher. And hey, he's happy now. We've finally reached the Sengoku era. The, from what I can tell, the Sonic Battle arc in the anime is weird. Like, really, really weird. Yeah, no, Samurai definitely use rifles. It, like, very often. Like... Real samurai were kind of nothing like fictional samurai. Samurai did use a lot of guns. Oh. Interesting. Okay, we might be getting this plot point now. Oh yeah, they also use a lot of bows, like Yumi. And later guns, yeah. Okay, um... I'm wondering whether I... Uh, no, do I stop now? Because I know that there's a big scene coming up. Do I stop now? I'm getting pretty close to the, like, the end. Yeah. Yeah, Katana's were historically known for being fragile. Okay, you're not gonna rank up. You're gonna rank up, but I don't care. You're gonna rank up, but I do care. Oh, I can feed the cat again, at least. Uh, uh, just, like... I'm just kinda, like... I just feel... It feels a bit weird to to, like, end a stream on such an important scene. Because, like, that's... It's a huge draw, like, like exposition dump on, on major, major backstory. So I feel like I... Yeah, I feel like I probably should end now. Oh, I have to feed it again? Really? Well, I suppose I can just buy cat food. But yeah, so I think I I think I will end the stream now because like like people are saying it, it's a big scene. Um, yeah. Oh yeah, there is the the cream and ML stuff, which yeah, in that arc I do want I do want to see. But yeah, like the actual tournament itself was like a bunch of matchups between human characters that nobody cared about. We're having one big sale today. You can't find prices. You made a sort of Done already. Come again. Yeah. Yeah, definitely feels like a good um, place to wrap things up, too. Okay, you guys are weird. Yes, we are giving the cat hope again. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll remember that. There's an exclamation mark on the cat. I'll, I'll know to feed it. So, okay, then. Um, in that case, let's just go over our progress. We beat the bosses. We... How close is Rakshasa to leveling up? Uh, still quite a while off. I want that Getsu A. Something tells me I'm going to get Getsu A by other means. Why does that say forgiveness is to... What? Why, why does that say forgiveness... Knock him dead. To do is to be. Is it, Does every Arcana have a different thing? Huh. Knock him dead, Chariot. Strength, forgiveness is divine. Pierce the veil. Vanquish evil. Who am I? Carpe diem. Now or never. Do want to? Oh, I think this kind of sums up the Arcanas. That's actually really cool. I like that. I, I did not notice that before. That's really really cool. But anyway, okay. So, so social link progress. Fool is four. Magician five. Priestess. For some reason, Priestess just went really really up this this stream. Emperor is six. Hierophant is nine. Chariot is six. Justice is only three. Hermit is six. Fortune four. 
Strength 5, Hanged 3, Creepy Boy is only 1, Temperance is 1, Moon is still higher than Temperance, which sucks. So, okay, yeah. On that note, I know it's not quite, um, quite, uh, 5 hours, but it's almost 5 hours. I will see you all next time for, probably, the the beach trip and Igus joining and Operation Bay Punts. We go from one moment of um, sleaziness to another. So, see you all then.